Warning, the following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion at five. Welcome everybody, Gaming Mike here, and we're back in Dual Universe. We're here at the bigger Gacknip Gang base. I've been working on it off stream. I've built many machines, and I'm just loving this whole factory flow. Let me show you, it's, what do we got? Everything's waiting over here. Let's check on production right now. I got this guy cranking out 18 electronics industries. There's only six left to go. What's he out of? Pipes? Yeah, we're always running out of aluminum. Always running out of aluminum now. Uh, it's becoming a problem. Eggfu Ron's in the house, welcome to it. And Ghost Fixer, hello, and Michael Eaton. Welcome, Michael. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, out of pipes. Everybody's out of pipes. So, oh, that one, this one is cranking out smelters. It's got four left to go. Missing pipes. This guy's got three left to go. He was making 17 metalwork industries. I got, uh, I don't know if I'm making too much, but I'm making it. This guy's cranking out transfer units. What's he out of? Pipes and hydraulics. And this fella. One left to process. Oh, he was making my big containers. I've made a few large containers. There's two down there. I've stacked everything. I'm gonna, I need to move everything up to this top floor. I'm gonna put containers up above. And all the machinery below. You can see all my metalwork industries here. Let's turn off the linker tool. Everything here is stalled out. Except for this guy. Oh, nice. We got some stainless steel going. I started that uh, off stream. Sav Jazz, welcome to it. Damn aluminum. I know, but I'm getting uh, very efficient at finding it and mining it up. In the previous stream, I thought all of our deposits on our tile were mined out. That is not the case. You just gotta go deeper. All the, all the like, first level deposits are mined out, but oh my god. I've gone far enough that I get out of range of my linked container. That's how far I've gotten with mining. Black Star lurking while you do your college work. Awesome, man. Awesome. Thanks for coming along. Good to see ya. Uh, so this guy's cranking out screws. I got these three are screws. I'm doing basic, uncommon, advanced. Uh, and then pipes. Basic, I started making uncommon pipes, I started making... No, we haven't... I don't have all this stuff for advanced pipes yet, but I built the machines. I'm just trying to space everything out, and then I separated these into... What is it? Functional? Functional parts on this column. Uh, complex on this column and standard, I think. Functional, complex, and standard... Or structural, that's what it is. Structural. So this is making my frames making my burners and hydraulics and then these guys are mobile panel chemical container and robotic arm that was for making all the machines that are coming out of the assembly line over this way yeah dig across the planet apparently the core of the planet is indestructible i've not been to the core yet though i was just i read that online um i have these two making connectors and components that go into that box all these other electronics industries i'm sure they're all jammed up because of Oh, they're at their production limits. Nice. So these things are just waiting. Oh, and these two are new. I didn't, uh, I didn't assign them anything yet. And then I got smelters. Back behind this wall, I boxed them in, but I've got this container taking all uh, basic materials, and then it feeds right into the refiners, which are inside this wall. And those are all coming out and feeding wherever they need to go. That's why I'm going to move the boxes up. These lines are insane to look at. It's too much. So I'm going to put the boxes on the top level and eventually probably just floor off all of the machines down here and have an upper level for just inventory. Uh, but it's a work in progress. Big work in progress. I'm trying to build enough metal work to... I don't know how many I queued up. To build like one of almost everything, every category, some of it I was like, I can't build a machine for every part. There's too many parts, but I can do one for every category. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Getting some dedicated machines. Oh, and then I've got the smelters going. This one was making the stainless steel. He didn't fit on the wall yet. I need to rearrange the smelters. I got to rearrange everything. I don't know. I put GMG in the floor though. I went ahead and did that. <laughs> Felt good. Disco dance floor, yeah, Sav Jazz, it's craziness. And then these are some extra containers that I haven't assigned yet. 
I got this guy. I started doing... Oh, I did the walls out of... Uh, stained gray pattern brick. Like, up, at, up on the log cabin up there was stained gray pattern wood. So I just did that type of brick for the walls. Because we had had this brick set up that Productivity made. So I have these honeycomb machines now. They just pump out the honeycomb right into the box. I don't have to do... I don't have to make it myself anymore. So that thing keeps feeding me stained gray brick every time I use it. It makes stacks of 300. That's why it's got almost 600 in there now, because I didn't use all of the stack that I took out. Then I put it back in. This guy is still making bricks. Is he chugging along? Nope. What's he out of? Aluminum. Everybody's out of aluminum. So we need to go bauxite mining. That's going to be my first order of business. My pack is empty. I'm linked up to the mineral box, this big guy up here. I'm linked up to him, so as I go down there and mine, I can just dump it straight into the box, and then the refinery process starts, and then all the machines start pumping out their parts, and then the assembly lines start pumping out the other machines. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Also, last time I mined, I returned to just underneath the base. So now I have a sweet mine shaft access into the depths. Okay, so long range scanner shows nothing right now because we mined everything up off of this level. We gotta go deep. We gotta go deep to get anything. Oh. Oof. Where's my... There, this way. Oh, but there's a deposit on the scanner now. That's great. <gasps> Computing data. I went too far. Too fast. What are we... There we go. So, the white... It's... Okay, so there's the two lighter lines. One of those is gonna be bauxite. The other one, I think, is quartz. And then dark blue is iron, and lighter blue is... Uh, the other one. Uh... <laughs> I can't think of what the other one is right now, because I'm trying to figure out which line I need to chase. This guy's on this level, though. If I go deeper, he's staying the same. So... Let's, uh... Let's burrow to this side. Let's make that bigger. This is how I find a deposit. Oh, lights on. Yeah, Egg Fu Ron, I'm a big time miner, dude. I'm a big time miner. Oh, that's the wrong way. So I'm looking at the top light white line. I'm trying to find where that deposit's gonna be. Give me another scan. The scan's based on your walk distance, so sometimes you have to take a few extra steps. Link a container to another container. Sav Jazz, no, because they have to be tied to a static core. So I'd, I was thinking about that. I would have to build like a base down, um, <laughs> just way down in the ground and then link it up. But I don't think you can link it to another base like that. I don't know though, but I had the same thought. If I could just put a container down at the, capa or at the ra maximum range of the container I've got, that'd be awesome. I've also been using the larger mining tool size just to make a nice, easy to walk down tunnel. Uh, and it's faster. We're getting closer. Complicated Mike in the house. Hello, complicated Mike. How's it going? Sometimes if you, yep, if you push up against the wall, it'll give you another scan sometimes. I found a deposit that was right on the border of this tile and the next tile over, and I couldn't get all of the deposit. Very frustrating. Very frustrating, let me tell you. Let me tell you. We're not, I'm trying to keep it at zero degrees. You see over on the right side, when you turn your light on, it gives you a compass. I got a little, I got pointed upward there. Let's get it back to zero degrees. I'm trying to just go straight forward. It's working. Still figuring out how to mine in the game. Michael, if you've got questions, let me know. I am getting fairly comfortable with finding a deposit. I may have some, I don't know, useful things to say about it, perhaps. Oof. Okay, so I think this one's going to be below me now. I think it's going to be, no, you know what? 
It's not above me, is it? It was closer when I was higher up. I think it's above me. We'll see. We'll see if that line gets closer as I go up. I may have gone way too far down for this one. That's all right. Oh, and sometimes, look, if you smash your face into the wall, you can see the tunnels you've made. And also, like over there, those are deposits outlined in green that were mined up, but or mined to, but not mined all the way out. So there's still some resource in there. I don't see any tunnels around here, though. All right, where was I? Uh-oh. Oh, here I am. I'm trying to go up. Oh, one of them got further away. But not the one I'm chasing. Or was it? There's a slight difference in the gray color of those two lines, but it's so hard to tell. I'll just find them both. Nope, we're getting further away, though. Maybe it is further down. Perhaps. Perhaps so then it is. See, they just both got closer. Just got done writing a PowerShell script to open Jupyter Notebook with a folder dialog. All right. Well, excellent. Always playing in the dirt, pimping plays. I... It's just where I live, man. I'm a miner now. All right, it's below us. I was right the first time. I shouldn't have gone up. It's fine. Look, big tool. Big tunnel. Yeah, there we go. That's getting closer. Closer and closer. Oh, there's the water. <laughs> no matter. You can be underwater as long as you like. It's not even a thing. Still further down. I think we leveled out on this guy. I think we leveled out. Now let's figure out which direction. Uh, Savjazz, server stability's been fine and dandy. They're pretty good about announcing when they're gonna go down. And an in-game announcement comes up as well, but it hasn't, I don't know, maybe twice it's happened to me while I've been playing. And we've got their updates going in the Geknip Gang Discord. They don't go down that often. When they do, it's not for too long. But as for random disconnects and stuff, pract I don't think any. I don't think I've had any. It's always just when they announce they're doing a... They gotta turn it off for a minute. That sound was me reaching the end of the range. Got the auto mining on. Oh, I'm going up again. to go down further. Oops. Oh, that underwater sound. Oh, hey, what is this? Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, I found one of my tunnels. All right. Is this going to take me any closer? No, that that line is staying level. Oh, now I'm going further away. No. Where did 
did I drop out of just now? Right there. Let's go to the left. Oh, Microsoft bought Bethesda. Oh, I hadn't heard. That's interesting. What does that mean for... for Elder Scrolls? I don't know. I mean... I guess it never really mattered much to me who owns the company. It's... It's whether or not the game is good. You know? I don't care who pays the money. I don't care who pays the money, I reckon. Just make the video games. That's all. I just want them to make the video games. Okay, we should be able to. Now I'm going to switch to directional scanner. And just look for a blip. Because I think when it's... Yeah, under 50. I think under 50 is when the directional scanner will start picking up. Oh, see? There it is. That way. We might have gone under it a little bit. There we go. Hey, settle down. Settle down. I wonder if I can... <laughs> just turn that down a little bit. We don't need to listen to the mining sounds too long anyway, do we? Pending operation. Oh no, Savjaz, that one night, there was that one night on stream that it did kind of glitch out on me. There was that. It has happened once. I think that's the only time that's happened. I just remembered. So I've got the auto miner on. I don't have to hold the mouse button down, which is very nice. And we found some coal, so the line I was chasing was coal all along, but we're gonna take it. We're gonna take it. Hope they do justice to the franchises there. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's all you can hope for. The suits behind it don't matter. I don't care about the suits. Or at least I don't. I don't mean to speak for anybody else. So then we mine it up. Coal is uh, good for the carbon. Carbon gets used in plenty of stuff. I know we're going to need more carbon at some point. But I really do need to go after bauxite to get production going up there again. Bauxite has been the big one since I really ramped things up with all those factories. Aluminum seems to be getting used in most of the stuff I'm trying to do. Mike Young, welcome to it. A $7.5 billion deal? Dang. Well, good for Bethesda, man. <laughs> that's not bad. Can I... Oh, that's... I'm looking straight up right now. I get it. I wasn't looking at my angle that whole time. Mine this guy up, and then it's going to be the other white line that is uh, bauxite that I need. So we'll go after that next. But you have to mine up most of a deposit to get it to stop registering on the scanner. Oh, Mikey, you almost got Bethesda. Oh, too bad, man. Maybe, uh, maybe another game company will go on sale soon. And then look, boom, move to linked container, and we're good to go. Just clears out my inventory, it dumps it right over there where we already have 12 kiloliters of coal. Because, yeah, we don't really need coal. Hematite, oh, and quartz. Quartz is a little low, finally. I had so much quartz for so long, I've skipped a few deposits of quartz. But it's down here when I need it. 
which if I see one I should grab it this time. Alright, and then we turn back on the long range scanner. And that white dot is gonna rescan and go real high. Oh! Okay, so we don't need that closest white line, we need the second closest white line. Oh, but they're they're gonna meet in the middle. Further down. Oh no! The coal got closer again. We've been miked! We've been miked! <laughs> Thanks for coming along, all you Mikes. Michael Eaton, Mike Young, um, Ivy, was it Ivy? Complicated Mike. No, not Ivy. We got three Mikes in the chat, plus me, Gaming Mike, the, uh, the ringleader of all Mikedom. Let's just go with that. Uh, pretend that's the truth now, everybody. Thank you. Oh no, these lines are so intertwined. Intertwined lines. Oh, that got further away. That got further away. Did I already come looking for these once? It's like I started the right tunnel, but didn't finish it. More to mining than you realize, Mikey. It's... This game has a lot of stuff to it. It's just a lot of stuff. I think this is the slightly darker white line. I really wish they would differentiate those colors a bit more. Two blues and two whites is not very varied. Oh, now we're getting further away from both of them. That means they're further below? Let's find out. Mikey, I haven't checked out that video you sent me yet either, but I need to. I meant to today, and I spaced it. Okay, sometimes when you first turn on the directional scanner, there's your, your former blip is there, if you just saw that, like I did. And it's very confusing. But that's a new blip. Let's go to it. Ah, oh, it's coal. It's coal. <laughs> Okay, so the dark white line is coal. I know that for sure now. I haven't been paying close enough attention before. Dark white line is coal. That means the other line that was on there is going to be bauxite. I just, uh... I'm going to clear around this one a little bit. Just so it's easily visible. And then we go back to number three scanner. Nope, that got us further away from the lighter white line. The slightly lighter white line. Hey, oh, hey, uh. You can see all my tunnels out there. But for all the uh, peeking through the walls that you can do in this game, I have not yet once fallen through a planet. So, that's nice. Oh, oh, oh. I dug down right in the middle of that tunnel. That's not the way to do it. Hold up. I wonder if I'll be able to pick up the other one from here, if I don't look at the coal. It's within 50 meters, just barely. So all you have to do with- oh, there it is. All you gotta do with the number 4 directional detector tool is look around until you get that reaction down at the bottom middle. That spiky white line, that's the mineral deposit I'm looking for. Make sure I'm going the right way. Let's try to hit the top of it. Come on, Bauxite. Show yourself. It might be a little further along, huh?
There it is. There she blows. <laughs> Skipping homework, the Mikey success story. There we go. Beautiful bauxite. That's what I need. A few huge groups will control most of free space at some point. Yeah, that's, uh... Seems like the way it goes in games like this. I really need to get spacebound. I've gotten so into this factory stuff, but we need to get out there and claim some Geknip Gang territory out there in space, off of Sanctuary. Give me all your bauxite. This'll get production going upstairs. Oh yeah. I'm too far away. In fact, let's go ahead and Move that. There you go. Get things going. That was my idea when I first started it at the uh, factory upstairs, was to have a spaceship part factory, but I've not gotten to actual spaceship part building yet. I got so entranced by trying to make chains of products. <laughs> Entranced, I tell yous. Jay Slider, welcome back. Good to see you again. Am I still on Alioth? Gene Cart... Uh, Cart uh, Carlier. Carlier? Is it French or not French? Am I still on Alioth? Oh, no, I'm on Sanctuary. On Sanctuary. Welcome to the chat. Is it Gene or Jean? Is your name French or not French? I need to know. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. I'm just kidding. Thanks for joining. Pallet PC, welcome, welcome. French Montreal. So it's Jean. Uh, bonjour. All right, there goes that deposit. Boxite. Send it over. Now what? Give me a new Boxite scan. We need the lighter white line. The very slightly lighter white line. Boxite. Give me a scan. Give me a scan. Give me a scan. Oh, it's way up there. Okay. Now where did I come into this place? Right up here? Oh, I'm a Skyrim horse. And we're getting further away. We gotta go downward. We gotta go downward. Let's go this way. Long night ahead for Jay. We got you, man. We got you. I'll just be mining these tunnels in Dual Universe tonight. Glad to have some new viewers here tonight, though. Thanks, everybody, for coming along. New or old viewer. Young or old. Uh, veteran or recent. <laughs> Appreciate you being here. <laughs> what a dork. Who is this dork you tuned into? It's me, Gaming Mike. A website about my dorkiness, GamingMike'sChannel.com. Check it out if you're bored as hell. Someday. You ever get bored as hell, chat? Has this ever happened to you? It's happened to me before. Oh, come on, we're getting close. Let's cut over... This way. 
Having a smoke before hitting the books. J Slider, nice. Keep on studying, man. So it's within 50. It's within 50. We might have gone too low. You can't go too quick with this thing because it takes a second for it to really respond. Just gotta, just gotta scan it up. I don't know exactly what my directional range is. It's skill based. Can you mine on a vehicle? I don't know, Sanchez. What a, what a question. That'd be awesome to make some little mine crawler vehicle. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Hey, right, what? Oh. You got bored one day last week. Pallet PC, my condolences. I'm glad that's over. Oh, that's the wrong way, too. So, keep going this way? Oh, you rewatched the Horizon Zero Dawn. Nice. Well, come on, now. That is also the wrong way. How can all directions be the wrong way? It means I need to go up or down. Means I'm right above it. There we go. Come on, directional scanner. There it is. I am right above it. Past it. Oh, hey, there it is. <laughs> I got right to it. That's perfect. All right, Boxite. Come to Papa. Oh, you know what? Since we're doing some mining, if y'all are good with it, we'll do some background tunage as well. Which playlist on Pretzel Rocks today? How about a beat? Shall we try upbeat? Oh yeah. If it's too loud or anything, let me know. If you guys want me to change it or anything, let me know. If you want me to shut it off, let me know. But I do tend to get a little zoned out during mining times also. So, I don't want it to be too quiet, you know? Who's feeling the NMS hype, though? Update's supposed to release this week sometime. Ooh! The Origins update. Sean Murray announced it last week with orange emojis on Twitter. Oranges, Origins. It's an emoji pun. Sean Murray, you rascal. I'm thinking about probably actually going back to No Man's Sky for the first time in darn near a year. It looks, it's, it looks to be, it sounds to be a pretty sweet update. The way Murray tweeted about it makes it sound like it'll have some good stuff. Atlas Collective. Oh yeah, man, I saw you try to reverse psychologicalize them on Twitter. I'm sorry that didn't work. Jay Slider, you're getting that Masters by the end of the year, man? That's radical. That's awesome. Complicated Mike is excited. Oh yeah. 
I'm hoping it gives me reasons to play No Man's Sky again, is all as I'm saying. Like, I didn't really touch the Exomech update. I didn't touch Desolation. I just... I don't know. That wasn't what I was looking for from No Man's Sky, I guess. The Exomech looks sweet. It looks like a lot of fun. I saw plenty of footage of people playing with theirs. And I'm glad it's in the game. And it'll be fun to get one and romp around in it. If I do start playing No Man's Sky again. It just wasn't enough of a draw to make me want to actually go after it. And you know what? That living ship update with the timed quest is kind of what took the wind out of my sails on trying to get more vehicles in that game. If I'm honest. That timed quest stuff... I think that's the last I really played No Man's Sky, was the living ship update. <laughs> Ron's still trying to get the living ship. Go back to Apex? Man, maybe. I mean... Apex was good. It was good. Mike Young did not care for how they implemented the living ship. Who did enjoy the living ship quest? Completely. Including the timed waiting part. The mech made the other exocraft useless. Does it have good cargo capacity? Does the mech carry a lot? I don't know if I ever noticed. On somebody else's... Oh, inventory full, 4,000. Move it over. There we go, 6,000 bauxite. Bone Junkie gave up Apex, the cheating was driving him nuts. Yeah, I know he went back to uh, Conan too, which has been nice to see. That new Conan update's looking pretty sweet. I haven't been too motivated to actually jump in there myself while it's on early access. That might be a good reason for me to go back to Conan on PS4 later. I know you have to do a different save though. I'd have to start fresh on both modes, I suppose, if I went back to Conan on PS4. This PS4 was where I beat it, right? I think I got my character freed from the Exiled Lands. More exploration and planet variations. Man, you know what? They're calling it the Origin Updates and Murray was alluding to how it... Um, uh, he, he made allusions to the Foundation Update and how it was a game changer and all that stuff. And if they bring back some kind of portal mystery, some kind of like deeper mystery in the game that we can all chase after and try to be the first one to figure it out again that would be the best thing because those are still my favorite days of no man's skies when we were trying to activate a portal even though they just didn't work it was more fun <laughs> it seemed like you were going to discover something anytime now that was the best that was the best season of no man's sky in my opinion was the, uh, the original portal hype. <laughs> Even though it was all a lie, it was all nothing, it was still more fun. People acting disappointed that it doesn't have this or that. Give me a break. Portals never worked. Hashtag refund. <laughs> yeah, man, the goose chases. All right, what am I going after next? I need more bauxite, frankly, but let's grab everything. The next closest is this way, and I think it's more coal. But it is this way. Show yourself, there it is. Oh wait, wait. I went too fast, it's right there. Show yourself, Cole. There it is. Got him.
The map is a bit weird. The Isle of Septa. Is it Sep Septa? Septa? Septa, what's it? Sephiroth? The Isle of Sephiroth? Let's grab up this coal. We basically need it. Yeah, I'm just going to go after the closest deposit for a little while. Because we need everything. We need all of it. All the resources. The guy who claimed he knew all the secrets of portals on Cobra Show. Man. Yeah. All that. All that stuff. That, that whole era of No Man's Sky was fantastic. <laughs> so ridiculous. It's everybody in the same boat looking like dummies for chasing after nothing. I'm serious when I say it was fun. I'm not being facetious, even though that is exactly what we were all doing. It was hilarious and fun. <laughs> now it's like a race to be the first to unlock the thing and do the thing, and then there's nothing left to do. It's not as fun. Knew the location of the Corvax and Gek homeworlds. You know what would be rad for Origins? If they gave us the origin planets of each of the species, finally? Wouldn't that be the snizness? The business. Now that everybody knows how to get all the way around the galaxy as quick as they please. All they would need to do is plop those planets into the game and wait until people found them. That'd be a fun little mystery. And then once the coordinates are out there, everybody would get there real quick and be full of combal spam, but for a little while, it'd be fun to try to find those planets. <laughs> Especially if they didn't tell anybody they put them in. But if they did put them in, I'm sure it would like tie into the storyline and be part of the quest. Which may actually... No, that's not better. Better is when you don't know it's a mystery and you stumble upon it. Tried to indoctrinate Moon Machine into his secret organization. What? I don't know if I ever heard about that, Mikey. The Atlas passes they mailed out. Yeah, Palette PC, I got my Atlas pass. Uh, nothing ever happened with it. That would be awesome if those came into play somehow. They do have codes on them. Give me some bonus DLC in the game or something, you know? Give me a sweet ship like I got when I pre-ordered. I can get almost an entire deposit in my inventory. Almost. Where are we at now? What's next? The light blue? Da ba dee ba da da? That's further away. That's closer. Let's go this way. Wild rhyme time. Hey, Grammy. Maybe they'll finally activate the codes. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I mean, really, literally anything. Just having it do anything at all would be nice. Like, what were those Atlas passes for? <laughs> Productivity, have you been playing this much in the last few days? I haven't been by your base. I don't know if you've seen the GNG base. But it's really coming along. I'm getting further away. This is not the way. Is it above me? Look at all those tunnels. Look at all those tunnels. A couple little partial deposits I still need to go clean up too. <laughs> I like peeking through the world. That's fun. I think this one's above me. Let's get up higher. 
Oh, hey, oh, hey, ah, oh, I can't get up higher. Where am I? This is up. Did I come in from that way? No. Shucks. Oh, there's my entrance tunnel. And that's getting further away again. Closer. Near? Far! Sub Mega, welcome to it. J Slider, that'd be awesome, man. Good luck with that. Grammy got the uh, got the Atlas Pass. Nice. Yeah, this is closer. Let's go down a little bit too. Been out of town productivity. Ah, I see. AFK, as it were. close. Stop sliding down the wall. Where is this bad boy? Oh, oh, oh. There he is. There he is. Is it quartz or hematite? I don't know. This is the light blue line. Right? This was light blue. Light blue is... Quartz, okay. And then dark blue is hematite, okay. I just gotta keep that, I gotta keep track of that. Oh, Mikey, were you able to play it all? With that kind of usage? Savjazz, how you like in Craftopia? And Mikey also, if you played it. If you did get to play it. What is this thumping one? Loving this moment? By... By Takakao? <laughs> Takachao? Takacho. Oh, Pretzel Rocks. You got the electronic -iest music. Yeah, J Slider, man, do it. If you got your own workshop, just record yourself doing anything you make, even if you just uh, time lapse that stuff, man. Or do it like a how to. That stuff does great on YouTube. play for an out about an hour and then have to reboot it's like minecraft on steroids nice yeah it looks like it's uh quite varied in what you can do it's still early access right it might be one for me to check out too the trailer looked really good Next one is down this way. Seems like it got further away just then.
Found water underground in dual universe, heck yes. Yeah, I'm actually uh, below the water level right now. Go closer. There we go. I don't think that this channel is doing it for me. What did I put it on? Upbeat? It's too upbeat. Let's try some synthwave. <laughs> How big is the container I'm dumping into? It's the biggest that you can make. I believe. I don't think there's extra large. I don't think there is. I gotta slow down. I gotta slow down and find this deposit. Varshi blows. I got under it. Hematite. It's the biggest. Hello, Hematite. But also, as I'm dumping this raw resource into that container, it's getting processed by the processors that are linked to it. So it's not staying full. It's staying... Well... It's getting lowered over time continuously. So usually by the time I mine up another deposit of something, about a deposit's worth has been processed. If I keep grabbing varied materials like this and keep things flowing. shop in three weeks hell yes that's exciting all too far away yeah this thing's only 26% full right now not too full I need to look it up but I'm not finding I have not found any secondary mineral deposits underground I think Sanctuary Moon only has the primaries though the uh the tier one stuff underground. And then the secondaries you can find on the surface here, but I think it's only other planets that have them 
as large deposits like this. I think that's how it works. Here's a tunnel. Things are getting closer. Oh, they went further away. What do you want me to do? Go this way? I can go this way. Am I right over it? Nope, I got further away. Am I right under it? Forty-seven percent sure, Mikey. That's also good enough for me. Yes, me also. Nothing. I think I'm right over it. Nope, getting further away. I was under it. Oh, too steep. Nothing's too steep for me. I'm a slimy cave worm. I'll slither my way back up there. Okay, so up we go. Yeah, it's getting closer. It was up here. All right, where are you? Oh, see you. I see you. Aha! Found him. Uh-oh, pending operation. Oh, look. Wow, they're right together. Oh my. That's the closest I've ever seen two deposits. This thing practically wants to be an iron deposit. I mean, a steel deposit. Because those are the materials used to make steel. Iron and coal. Well, iron and carbon. In this game. Wow, double deposit. Wow, cool. the top of the iron.
Come on now. Okay. Space Atmo Ground PvP in Dual Universe? Yeah, I mean... Seems like that's the way it's gonna go. I've not had to deal with any PvP yet. But we do need to get out into space. We do. Oh, I changed the uh, pilot seat on the Reckless too. I've been missing something. I still had it set to the default controls, but on the seat itself, you can run default configuration for pilot, and it changes the way the controls work, and the Reckless is flying so nice now. I'll have to show you. Maybe we'll run to town to sell some extra oxygen and hydrogen or something. But it flies so well now. I'm really digging it. And I've been looking into the Lua scripting for the game, the language you can use to control things. I found a tutorial on uh, automating the landing gear at a certain altitude. That's a good place to start, I think. I might mess with that some tonight. I just wanted to get a bunch of resources gathered up so that the factory can keep running, though. And then I've got some some factory rearranging to do as well. Star Seeder, welcome to it. Hope you're having a lovely evening, too. Thank you very much. Glad to have you with us. Clear out the dirt. Oh, stop that. Oh, stop that. Sorry for the noise. Actor Matt Seaton in the house. Well, stars and garters, Actor Matt. How's it going? Nice to see you, sir. Richard Huntington's in the house. Bringing the treats on D-Live, Richard, you sneaky devil. Oh, those rocks. <laughs> And Richard with the Twitter love out there as well. Thanks, Richard, for tweeting the stream. Always appreciate those social shares. If you guys are Twitter users or watching on Facebook, a share always helps the stream grow. Or a retweet on Twitter. If you do make a tweet, be sure to tag me so I see it. I don't always see it if they are not... If they're not tagging me. Oh, and Shard Vixen with the Twitter love as well. Thank you, Shard Vixen. An old McReaper out there with the tweet, the retweet. Reaper, if you're lurking, cheers to you, sir. Is 
Is that all of the iron? I kind of fell through that. Felix over on Facebook. Hey oh hey oh. Richard Huntington is closing in. Take cover. Yeah, Richard posted that time lapse on his channel today. There he is on Facebook. Richard's been doing some some nice weather time lapses, real world time lapses on his channel. Relaxing to watch. Hey yo, Jay Boomer following over on Twitch. Thanks for the follow. Feel free to join us in the chat as well. Glad to have you aboard the good ship Reckless. <laughs> oh yeah, Matt, you're on Avengers, right? We gotta, you gotta team it up, man. We gotta team up. I did a little bit of grinding on that today in the online mode. Playing those missions, they're ridiculous. How dare Richard not be the right Richard. Richard. Alright. That's those two deposits. Oh, now everything's real far away. We're gonna have to go further down though, right? Oh yeah, this one's funky. We got so much coal. I probably don't need to grab up any coal if we see it. That guy levels out right there. Further away. Further away. GM has a puny hulk. How dare you? How dare you, sir? It's too high. Zoop. Game needed Spider-Man. They're getting Spider-Man PS4 exclusive. It's gonna be sweet. So glad about it. So glad to be a PS4 player while they play favorites. Oh. Hey, what gives? There he is. No? What? I gotta stop sliding down the wall to get a proper reading. This way. There he is. And it's bauxite. Awesome. Bauxite's what we need the most. Excellent. Mm -hmm. 
pre-ordered your PS5 and Miles Morales? Oh, Matthew. Pre-ordering only encourages them. You know that. Final Fantasy 16 for PC. Have they made any Final Fantasy 16 announcements? Have they said anything about that game? Kind of too bad they put uh they set comrades so firmly in the Final Fantasy 15 world because it'd be nice to see Final Fantasy pull off an online experience that's able to uh, improve with each installment. You know. Oh, they talked 16 during State of Play. Oh, I, I missed the news on that. Gonna be for the PC and PS5. Interesting. Welcome to all the new viewers that have joined us, though, by the way. Glad to have you tuned in to Gaming Mike's channel tonight. Playing some Dual Universe. Doing a lot of mining, trying to feed the factory upstairs. Probably after this deposit, I think I'll head back up. And show some of the new folks who've just joined us the factory. Now that it's moving and grooving. Shaking and quaking. Some more products going. We can get to arranging some of those boxes. Setting up some more of the machines that I've built. Getting everything automated. Oh yeah. Where am I at on my skills, by the way? Oh, just cranking my way through that. Just cranking my way right through that. Mike Tracy in the house. We got another mic tonight. Oh my. All the mics are showing up. Going back to mining, Michael. Good luck. Let me know if you got questions. I try to talk about the, the directional scanner and the way I'm using it as I go. But if there's anything I can answer for you. Oh, there's the sound. We've been so mic'd. We've been so miked. Where is base? It's right there. Where's my tunnel going back up, though? That's the thing, is after I do all this mining, how the hell do I find my way back home? Sometimes it takes a minute. There is a deposit here. I don't think I have a tunnel leading out of here. I think I came up into this one from underneath and mined it and left. I need a way to set up some markers. This one looks like it goes up. Oh, does it stop right here? No. Nope. Oh, there was a deposit. I... about this guy where's he going some other deposit that I mined here's another fun way you can find your way back just smash your face into the wall at the right sort of crevice so you can peek out into the oh now it's not working see I want to be peeking out into the into the underneath there you go oh there's a good wall Still sort of moving around the wall. But that one was working pretty well. Look at all those tunnels. Damn. Really been mining things up down here. 
I need to get to those tunnels over there. Where are they? Oh, it's that way. Is that the one that goes back to base? Well, it's gotta be. I gotta cruise down that way. Was this even the right way? This isn't even the right way. Hold up. Hold up, you tricked me. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna tunnel over. Sorry, I know this looks weird, but it's a nice way to figure out where you're at and where you can go. <laughs> Or at least it's been working for me. These, uh, these tunnels get insane. Alright, I'm just gonna start going... This way. We're going this way. John G says it looks like a colonoscopy. Do you watch a lot of colonoscopy footage, John G? You probably do to make that comparison. That's cool. Hey, John G, welcome to us. To it. <laughs> Need a red shirt emoji? Or just a shirt? Uh, actor Matt, GamingMikesChannel.com has the merch store. You can get a shirt. You can get a shirt for sure. You can get a Gaming Mike neck gaiter to put my chin on your chin. Why would you want to? That's up to you to decide. It's your life. Live it how you want. Live it freely in a gaming mic neck gator. <laughs> Ridiculous. But I do have the merch store on the website. There's a link to it. You can type exclamation merch in the chat as well for a link directly to the merch store. Said merch store. So I'm just kind of spiraling upwards now. Holding right and space bar. Oh, oh. Losing the losing the flow though. I lost the flow. Alright, let's smash our face into the into the wall again. I just want to get to the surface, man. Actually, there's a deposit over that way. I tunnel over there. Should we go that way? that sticky keys oh no I don't want to turn sticky keys on windows get out of here oh look I found it oh and it's coal The one we need the least, but I want to get rid of this deposit, just so it's not showing up on scans and stuff, you know?
So many kids trying to buy Grand Theft Auto 5 and they're just too young. For shame, children. It's a good thing you're there, Matt. You're protecting today's youth. Uh-oh. We're full of coal. Sneaky little corner of coal. Sneaky little corner. Now where was the entrance tunnel here? Is this the one that goes back home? Oh, I bet that's it. Hey, oh no, I fell I fell down. Are you joking? You tricked me. Look me up. Here we go. Should be able to shimmy on up this way. I found that just changing directions a lot helps keep you going if you get stuck. There better be a way up. I went to all this trouble. There we go. Now wait a second. I could have sworn I saw this thing connecting all the way up to base. That's okay. Let's just continue it. Or actually, let's try to get a look at what's out there. Right above, there's another big tunnel. Connect the tubes. We're going this way. go. Oh, there it is. I broke through. I found the other tube. Awesome. I think this one goes all the way up. I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there's the water level. I, oh, I got stuck. I got stuck. <laughs> this was a deposit, though. So bright. Is that the tunnel right there? There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was way down there. No! Dead end. Oh, wait. Here we go. Uh, that goes back down. You're joking. There, over there, that's the one that connects to the base, to the underneath. See it spiraling up there? Let's try to connect to that tunnel across the way first.
pending operation. Yeah, Sav Jazz could definitely use some signs down here. Definitely, definitely. Oh, no, 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 not Tab. I think that I need to... turn the game music off since I have other music playing. That'll be good. That guy. I just need to get to that guy. One more tunnel connection and we're home free. It's ridiculous trying to get back up after a mining expedition. That's why it's real good. I mean, you gotta have a linked container that you're dumping into. You can't be going all the way back up all those times. All the time. Uh-oh. How am I gonna get... Make myself a little crawlway here. Oh, did ah oh, I had the auto miner on. Whoops. Here we go. We're home free. We're home free. Real steep up to the top. Makes getting down there very easy though. There she blows. The underside of the base. Aw, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. Let's go see if... Oh, man, we've got kiloliters of this stuff. I need a bigger container on the diddly dang reckless to start taking some of those shipments out to sell sell at the marketplace. But here we are for those that haven't seen the factory. GNG Factory Prime. It's getting real connecty. Real connecty in here. Got so many machines, such machinery. I'm actually gonna take a, a real quick AFK Refill my drink, stretch my legs, if y'all have been hanging out with me for an hour and a half so far. Stretch your legs too. I'll be right back, it won't be a long one to those just joining us, thanks for coming along. Get an eye full of this factory setup and I'll be right back.
Good night, J Slider. Slider. I'm back. You silly gooses. This factory keeps growing and growing. Do you think I left enough height on this first floor for all the machines? Turn off that linker tool so I can see what's going on. Looks like we're making screws again. Actually, the real test is what's green over here. We got two mediums green. This guy and that guy. That means we're cranking out a smelter. And electronics. What's this guy's problem? Not enough pipes. That is, uh, the pipes are made with aluminum, right? And that's why we needed the bauxite. Because there's so many pipes that need to be made. Yeah, silumen. Silumen's made with... How do we make silumen? Pure aluminum, pure silicon. That's right. But it's like twice as much aluminum as it is silicon. So... But hey, we got 3,300 aluminum now. And how much bauxite left in the box? Still 1,600 liters. That's good for a few more batches. That'll keep us going for a little while. Who's going down here? Oh, mobile panel M. Marquee Dragon said today he was uh, visiting a space station a member had created. That's awesome. Space station would be sweet. So, I put this box up here because it is. This is my linked box that I take that I go out of when I go mining. That's the deposit box. If anybody else from the GNG needed to come by, they could deposit into there. It would fire everything off just like it does when I do it. So I want that there. And these are the output boxes. In fact, this one's like the middle output box of parts. What's he at? 98.5, 184.5, I was close. 98.5. Let's put him at 98.50. Right in the middle. And then this guy down here, he'll be 98.5. I like symmetry. I'm interested in symmetry. 118, negative 118, boom. Three big boxes. I do have more large containers, but that kind of separates us out into input, uh, middle output and then final output. This is where all the assembly line products get spit out. And it's also where I'm stocking up this hydrogen and oxygen excess. So that's good. And then what else did I have here? I've got my four main uh, tier one element boxes. Silicon. We've got this guy is pure carbon, uh, pure iron. This is pure aluminum. Okay. Let's take aluminum. And he's coming out of this box, so we can just put him right by this box, right? That'll probably work. And then pure carbon. Is it going to fit four in front of this thing? That'd be real nice. 106, 106.5, or no, 106 and 106. And pure iron. Oh, I think that's gonna fit perfectly. I think they knew I was into symmetry when they made this game. This guy, pure silicon, our final Boom. Isn't that lovely? So those are the four primaries. And then we got this box. Pure uncommon. That's the four basics. And then this is for uncommon. We're going to just slap him right in the middle. Hold the T button. T. 
to slip him up here. Right there is good. And then we'll just set him down on top of those. There we go. How does that make our links look? It's all webbed back down to those smelters now. Less stuff running across. Something about using anti-gravity. I don't even know how complex this game gets. I haven't even seen most of what you can do. I do need to get space bound. I keep saying that, I know. Parts basic. Let's take him, not with the linker tool. Parts basic. Oh, it circles on both sides. Zero, 98.5. He can go on top of, what was this guy? This is my assembly parts. Yeah, assembly parts. That's stuff that goes into the assembly lines. And this is stuff that comes out of the assembly lines. So, we had parts basic, we had uncommon parts. Those make a nice little stack. Oh, look at that. That's looking cool with the linkages. They added warp and now anti-grav. My goodness. And then what do we have here? These, oh, this is the smelter output. Smelter output. Light metal. So we could put that like... Light metal. Alloy. Heavy metal. Actually, I want light metal in the middle. Heavy metal to the side. Yeah. So that's smelter output right there on that row. Heavy metal, light metal, alloy. That's all I've really been making with smelters so far. And that gets all my boxes off of that ground level. That's good. Oh, uh, yeah, no, Palette PC, they are labeled. You can rename them. You see it pops up there next to my tool, Uncommon Pure. That's what I called that one. This one's like Parts Basic. This one is Assembly Parts. So you can label them in this too. Makes it real nice, like if I look at the machines that they're connected to, you can see Heavy Metal. It's coming from the Heavy Metal box. It's going to the Assembly Parts box. Yeah, without being able to rename them, they, they're automatically numbered and named with the type of machine it is, but that would be tough to keep track of. That would be tough to keep track of. Okay, boxes. So what I wanted to do eventually was get my assembly lines over here on this side. Oof. Sav Jazz, thanks for the retweet. Appreciate it. Is that going to be the place? I mean, look how much space this assembly line takes up. I, I built the three large, and those are spaced end to end. I arranged the others in front of them. But those are end-to-end -end right there. If I did them over there... I could do like three large... Three medium... How many do I have? Three large, three medium, and then two small, one extra small? That's all I got. So I could probably line them up, you reckon? Why, I reckon. Reckon I could. Let's try it. Let's see how it looks. 
Face them out this way towards the other machines so you can see the indicator lights from Machinery Row. That's right to the edge. 98, 114.5. 97. That way I could put a wall there. And that's any closer it's going through the wall, yeah. Touching. doesn't take up a ton of space. Oh, but that does kind of block off the indicator lights on those back units. Ooh, I don't like that. You can see the indicator lights from here, but you gotta be in build mode to float up that high. Maybe that's not my favorite way to do it. Maybe I'll keep keep it like it was over there with Fourteen point five, and I can cram it right up to there. Let's go to thirty seven. A space of one in between them. What if we stack them like that, though? Everything about that, I hate. I hate it. I put that door there, it doesn't do anything. You can't even use it. Thirty-seven, ninety-seven. Oh, yeah. All right. And the linkages, at least, are star. Oh, man, it's still a mess back there. But this wall will make it easier to see when you're walking down the middle, because the assembly lines are like the last step, right? The last step. Oh yeah, Savjazz, the coordinates are an absolute lifesaver for lining things up. It's so much easier, because the way the curves work on some of these machines, and depending on the angle that you're floating at, you it uh, they seem like they're lined up when they're not, if you're just trying to go visually. Uh, but yeah, the coordinates make it much, much better. Oh, 
Oh, whoops. I was still in the linking tool. And then what did I do? I think I was lining up the box on these. I think I was just lining up the box because they don't really... What happens if I do line them up? 97. What if I put this guy at 97? Oh, then it's right in front. But that's not so bad. Maybe I'll line those up this time around. Well, I am going to. There's that guy. And my only extra small assembly line. Look at him. Cute little fella. Cute little thing. You're cute. This one. X coordinate is 37. can't see my number. That's the thing is sometimes with the colors you can't see what number you're at. Ninety-five point five, both of them good. The coordinates also make for real easy double checking. Eighty-three, eighty-three, boom. Guy. Don't mind the reckless, he's just hanging out. This dude was at negative 23, so this guy will be at negative 23. Ninety-five point five, ninety-five point five. Lined up. Look at those lovely lines. Except the assembly box. I don't know. So many linkages. Going to lay watch <laughs> something more calming football. Roger that, Mike Young. Thanks for coming by tonight. Have a lovely evening. So, oh, I don't have any of the brick with me. Hold up, I wanna put the wall back there. I wanna build the wall, hold on, let's not take all of it. I don't want it to start making another stack. It makes, if it's empty, it makes a stack of 300. So, or if it's got less than 300, it makes a stack of 300. And I don't want it to do that. Did I move that to linked container? Did not mean to. Build that wall. Boom. There was a door in there. Where'd I leave that door? <laughs> Shoot. Wait. Well, gotta find the door. door was like right there it is oh I was close to the start point now can I oh no Alright, fine. 
Have it your way. Why am I acting like I'm going to try to make the door work there? That's not where the door is going to go. <laughs> Goodness sakes. Brick wall. Where would this door go? I don't know. I built this door at the last base and just it was too big to use there. And that, so I never put it anywhere. Now I just have a door. Michael Eaton back again. Michael's back. Tell your friends. Guess who's back. Guess who's back. You don't have to guess. I just told you. Na na na. Do you like it when I rap chat? Okay, the storage boxes, all boxes have been moved off of the production floor. One more in there. Transfer unit in there. Oh, here's the other thing. I had two of the transfer units set up for coal and hydrogen because with all of the primaries, you get coal and hydrogen as excess. How come it's not transferring that? Oh, it only does 100 liters at a time. Oh, I see. That makes sense. So these ones... They'll build it up, but I put the transfer units in so it takes away oxygen and hydrogen whenever they're made in here and throws them into that excess box. But I need one that does... I mean, to save myself this chore, there's carbon and iron that come from those that I've been putting in these boxes. But that would mean two more transfer units to do that, and it's... I'm not really making that many tier 2 I'm not refining that much tier 2 stuff here so that's probably not necessary I guess to auto transfer that carbon so I'm not going to bother with that yo Bixler is this the new NMS update? negative welcome to it Bixler Looking for the door and put a wall behind it with text, you have been miked. <laughs> That's the spirit. It'd be like, hashtag reckless. What's this one? 86.5, 94.5. Difference of eight. Should be 90.5 then, huh? Yep. I should have moved him over one. No, you're obsessing over minuscule details. That's smelter output. Where are we going to do the smelters? How are we going to do this down here? I want to rearrange it all. screws I like the screws in the pipes coming directly out of nah no I don't no I don't like that smelters first because they take all the resources and make them into stuff How many smelters can I fit on that wall? Because I used to have those transfer units down here hanging upside down. I moved those earlier. This is what I was thinking of. I was trying to... But he doesn't quite fit. He doesn't quite fit. Oh, does he? Let's 
see you turning blue. <laughs> Could I fit another one though? Oh, that's just about the halfway mark. I think I have another smelter. Oh, I have eight more smelters. Well, that's right. Because I was making one for everything, even stuff I can't make yet. Nah, that makes him hang out of there. What kind of spot is that to be able to build it? That's no kind of spot. So this wall... It is just tall enough for four of these uh, metal works though. Yeah, Michael, I had a huge queue. What am I at now on my talent queue? Four days? I had it up to, I think, 12? Six days ago? I'm just running through the base. I started with all the low-level skills, and I'm just working my way around to the higher-up skills as I go. Toker, welcome to it. Good to see you. Member in the house. Reckless crew. Let's see those... G Mike badge emotes, shall we? Oh, I also have screws and pipes boxes to move up. Screws and pipes. Those are the first things to come out of the metal. That's pipe. This is light metal. Pipe comes out of light metal. And screws come out of heavy metal. Which is this one. <laughs> the linkages! I wish I could grab multiple machines at once to move. Why not let me do that? I certainly can't. I certainly cannot. I'm gonna bring the smelters out. Schmelta. There's a schmelta in my shelta. I had those electronics industries just stacked up on this one smelter. Ridiculous. But I'm gonna do that again, probably. They stack on there real nicely. Electronics industries stack on smelters very nicely. This guy, this is the screw stack. Let's get these out of the way. This guy. Is that in the wall? Is that clipping? I'm trying to do it without clipping them into the wall. He's at 120, 103.5. Let's just go 103. I don't think that's clipping into the wall. If it is, it's barely, barely, barely. And I can live with that. So where are we at? 120.5 and 103. So then you slam him on top, 125.5, 103, hold T, scroll up, don't move the mouse, 115, that's our level, and this level is 103.5.
Uh oh. And a 3.5. Ooh, it's getting funky. Echo Chamber by Nitrix. Such electronic. One twenty point five and one oh three. Why isn't that working? It'll work at one oh three Z axis, but not one oh three point five. Something's not stacking right. Oh, great. Oh, you know what? I bet it's hitting one of the uh, refiners. It's hitting a refiner behind the wall. Okay, so we gotta bring them out. Just a little. That's fine. There you go, 115, 103.5, 120.5, 102, all the way around. Okay, okay. Oh, I guess it might have still been clipping through that wall a little bit, where it was. I didn't realize it. Nice and snug, you know it. You know it. 120.5 and 102. So these all just need to come back to... Oh no. This one did it too, even further. What gives with this wall? Why are you like this? 109.5102 Oops, oops. Oh man. Is it something about the way these things stack? That wouldn't make sense because it happened on the first one. It's got to be those refiners behind the wall. Well, fine. Anyway, that's the pipes and screws. I don't know if I want to... That's so dumb. <laughs> That's so dumb. Don't do me like that. That's so dumb. 
if I leave it that much space. Little gap of Rooney behind it. Or between them. I guess we could do that. Little gap of Rooney. Hashtag snug as a bug in a friggin' rug. And then I can fit one more of each up there if I want. Build four more smelters since I picked those up? No way. That's crazy. Where'd I get that coal from just now? Where was that coal from? What the? Maybe I just still had it on me from the last mining expedition. You think? I'm losing my mind? So what I had in mind for the metalwork... I can't even pick them all up. But I might as well do some of it now. Was... One f a fourth uh, pipe and screw machine. If they'll fit. Oof, how much does that clip through? Oh no. I checked it earlier, but I didn't check the ceiling. But you know, that won't work for the others because they'll be underneath those boxes. That's horrible. That's horrible. Oh, actually, that's a little higher up. Oh, it's doing that thing again. It's doing that dang thing again. How many can you fit on a wall? Just one. Not two, but... Chat? I don't know. I don't know how to arrange these machines. Functional, complex, structural. Screws, pipes. Plus, I'm making a whole bunch more. Where are we going to put them all? What's going to make the most sense? Oh, I have an idea. Oh, I have a terrible idea. What happened there? Oh, my numlock is on. Why doesn't it want to let me type numbers? Oh, there you go. 
Oh, because I can't take that much because I've got a box full of machines. Hold on. Arrange them in alphabetical order. <laughs> Don't tease me. <laughs> You tease me. Something really satisfying about making these factories set up. I guess that's probably why they called it Satisfactor, Satisfactory. That game about factory building. Maybe I should have tried that one. Because I'm really enjoying building this factory. Like a lot. There, that wall's done. And I could put a whole hell of a lot of metal work up along that wall. You think? Special building tools for the snug players. I want it tight. I want it efficient. And I want it just to be the best. Around. How many can we fit vertically? Nice and tight and snug. Where's that? 126, 102. Oh, excuse me. It's not going to take one more, is it? No. Not available. Oh, wait, it might. Gosh, it's like... No, you know what? Rows of three is fine. Rows of three is gonna be fine for these. Sets of three works for these. So how much space do we have to fill? I got a little space to fill. That one's at 90.5, negative 90.5. This one's at negative 121 for a difference of, what? 2131.5? Well, what's half of that? <laughs> Symmetry pleases us. What's half of 31.5? 15 and three quarters. I can't do that. This will not be symmetrical. Hold on. I can bring this one down one Oh, whatever. Hold on. Who's that? Richard! Thank you for streaming tonight. Whoop. Whoop? <laughs> Richard. 
You're welcome very much. Thank you for making the robot say whoop. <laughs> I like the way she said that. Oh, Richard, thank you kindly, sir. Your stream support is always appreciated. Did you just become the stream boss? I didn't see. Yes, you did. Oh, you almost knocked yourself out as the stream boss. You already were the stream boss. Whoop. <laughs> Everybody, give give Richard some whoops there in the chat, please, to tell him thanks for his lovely, lovely support of the channel. Thank you, Richard. It's Gaming Mike's channel here tonight, in case you didn't know it. We're playing Dual Universe. Just arranging this factory right now, 120.5 to 91.5 is a difference of 29, 29. So I did this wrong. I want a difference of 30. So I'm gonna move this one to 91. And this one to one twenty one. Yeah, jump street. Twenty one jump street. That makes a difference of thirty. One twenty one ninety one. The difference is thirty. So one twenty one minus fifteen equals one oh six, right? So this one's only 0.5 off. And that is the symmetry. I can't see it, but that's the symmetry that pleases us. It'll look much better once I put all these things on the wall. Much better. Hey, yo, Bixler. Oh, we got the camel song, baby. Hump camel to 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 hump camel. She emphasized the last one because of the colon. Scott Mixler, thank you very much for the five dollars super chat. Y'all are fantastic. Appreciate you very much. Supporting the channel in so many ways. We got uh, the monthly giveaway coming up, not next Tuesday, but the one after that, of course. Brought to you by this lovely stream support. We'll be giving away a $50 gift card and trying out the PlayStation Plus free games for October? Already? Yeesh. I don't even know what they are yet. I don't think they've been announced. Basic screw, uncommon screw, advanced screw, okay. Those are the correct machines in the correct order. Now we go pipe. This one, 126, negative 121. 26 negative 121 76.5 is the y-axis okay 126 negative 106 Oh wait, we want 76.5. There you go. And we got 126 negative 91 for advanced pipe. A pipe. Oh. Twenty six seventy six point five negative ninety one negative ninety one okay it's great it's great now what do we have three functional parts machines functional 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 parts one twenty six negative one twenty one. Is 
Is that right? Oh, hey, excuse me. Their plugs are touching. Yes, plugs touching. That's fine. Uh, 126, 106 for the next functional part. Is it 51? Yes, it was. I didn't even check this one. 126, 91. Oh, close. Twenty six fifty one ninety one. Perfect. That's the functional parts, and then we had complex parts. Good, and then I didn't have a third one built, so I'll slap a new one down. Hey, I'll slap a new one down. What? Not available. Oh, come on. I thought I had picked them up again. Shucky darn. Give me those. Ninety one over here. There we go. That's our complex parts. So we hit rename on this one. Complex parts. Lovely. Lovely. It's not actually making anything right now. What were these making? Basic hydraulics, basic burners. What can we do in complex parts? I haven't made any singularity containers yet. What the hell do those do? Solid warheads? Would you like a solid warhead? Magnets? Maybe we should make some basic magnets. I'll probably need those at some point. You think? What are these making? 375 of those, 50 of those. Let's crank out some magnets just for the hell of it, shall we? This thing's not doing anything else. Make me 50 magnets. Make me 60 magnets. Start that. Hmm, the song. Uh, steel and basic connectors. So, connector tool. We need heavy metal, which was right there. Heavy metal to this guy. And what? Basic connectors? We have a box for that. Basic connector box. Is it you? Oh no, you're here. intermediary parts and your output is gonna be magnets go to this guy no actually magnets will go over here right is that where the burners and stuff were going no not there either Oh yeah, basic parts, basic parts. I have a box for that. Parts basic. Yeah, yeah, that's where you can put the magnets. The basic magnets. Perfect. So he's gonna start cranking those out 60 at a time. Always good to have some magnets sticking around. I figure I'll be needing to build something with them eventually. Might as well.
Oh, this guy's at zero. We're right at the zero mark. That's perfect. Negative 106, 126, yes, and then one more. 91, 91, 126, 000. And these are structural parts. This guy's doing standard frame L, reinforced frame M. What do we have in structural parts? It's all standard and reinforced frames. Well, let's have him. I know I need a lot of advanced frame Ls. I think I had one of these making five at a time at one point anyway. Steel and Inconel. Oh, that's advanced. Hold on, hold on. Not advanced. Not advanced. Basic reinforced frame L. That's what we deal in. Start five of those. Just needs steel, so he needs a heavy metal box connection. Heavy metals... It's alloy. That's heavy metal. And he's going to output right into assembly parts. Because that's where we already had some frames, isn't it? Or is it? Uncommon standard frame. Large goes up here. Oh no, medium goes up here. I was trying to arrange everything so that it's, you know, <laughs> looking, looking sniff, spat, sn uh, snazzy, spiffy, sniffy. Goodness, I can talk. <laughs> it's 10 standard basic frames. Is that how many I had it making? Oh, maybe I just made 10. Oh, he's running infinite. Don't run infinite. You can maintain five of those, you goof. Basic standard frame. Why was he running infinite? Three of those. Five of those. Okay. Woof. I almost made too many large frames, y'all. Can you believe that? All right, there's a row of mechanical goodness. That looks tidy, but we still got more we can place. So let's finish the wall. I've been making so many structures. Is that good? 126.91. 25.5, 121, 106, great. So these are just going to be extras until we figure out what to do with them. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, I don't have any more. <laughs> well, hi, Mark. Right there. 2651. Yada, yada, yada. At what point do they interfere? I think we can get one more row here. And then I don't think we'll be able to fit them after that. We could do more along the top, though, which might be kind of nice. All right. Because I'm sure I'm... Yeah, there are more still cranking out of here. What did we have queued up? I did a count at one point and counted how many of these things I was going to need. Metalwork. How many more are you making? Oh, left to process just one. I was making 17 total. I should probably make 18 since they're in rows of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times three is 21. Oh, because I already had like six made. I don't remember how many I needed total. But we have 22. There's one being made and one to process, so we'll finish that row, and we could probably fit one more if we wanted. 
That's going to work out real nicely. That works out really, really nicely. Wow. Wow. I'll probably make one more after that's all done. Just to stick it up in that corner is like an extra guy. But for now, screws, right? Screws, pipes. We'll go on. Pop up. Functional, complex. Uh, oh, I didn't rename that one. Structural. This guy's supposed to be structural. Structural parts. And I queued him up and he's good. He's going. He's cranking out basic reinforced frame L's. Did I really have no more of those? Yeah, I guess that's okay though. And that takes care of the metalwork industry. Schmelters. Schmeltrionics. First, let's get these electronics industries out of the way. These two go together. The rest of them are just doing stuff on their own. But now they're out of the way. First row was screws. Screws are made with steel. Steel is heavy metal. So heavy metal smelter is going to go in front of the screws. Heavy metal. Already labeled. They're slightly longer. I don't like that. Oh, where am I? <laughs> Too many buttons to press. How many of these damn things? I've got one, two, three, four, five. Plus. Oh no, plus how many was I making? Smelters. Which guy's making smelters? This guy. I was making 12. I was 17 total again? Did I want 17? No, that's what I made of the last one. I counted up categories on these and I set these to make just as many as I needed for one of each category. Plus the stuff I already had set up. So I figured at the time that I only needed 17 of these. So we'll stick with that. But that's gonna be like... That'll work. It doesn't need to be one to one. So we can just space them in their own spacing, but I want enough room that if I was actually not in build mode walking around this factory, I could still get at, down to the end of the laneway. You know what I mean? This is my real life space factory. Don't make fun of me. That's where it can't go. That's the first place it can go, and I can't read the coordinates. That is... One oh four on the X. So enough walking room is gonna be like... What, three spaces? Not quite. More like five. So we'll go to 99. And then... Yeah, right there. 99, 108.5, 127. That's heavy metal. Then we have light metal. Oh, should we alternate them for funsies? 
No. Because that'll mess up my coordinates. Then I'll have to remember two coordinates. Ninety-nine. One away point five ninety-five. Okay. And then we had alloys. And that works. Buffering, I got no problems on my end. Glitched into a derelict freighter into the mission planet on NMS. <laughs> People couldn't do the weekend mission? Yikes. Duralumen. Oh, you know what? That's the thing, is these come in stacks, or these come in types, too. Would I stack these like the others? I would. I remember what I was gonna do. Ninety-nine, one hundred two. One twenty-seven. That's one twenty-one. A difference of six. So this would be at one hundred if I stacked another smelter. That one was heavy metal. But then didn't I start a stainless steel? Yeah. Did I rename this? No. If you play these just right... One hundred? Wow, we've been mic'd again. <laughs> YouTube's buffering for you, but it's because XL365 blows oh so very hard, it's eating your laptop. Yikes. <laughs> Where were we at? 99. 102. Oh, yikes. Ninety nine one oh two, ninety nine one oh two. Oh no. One twenty seven, negative one twenty seven, negative one twenty one, negative one oh six, negative one hundred. Oh, because it's got to be plus six. Oh, and we got the full house. Oh yeah. Mike's over Richards again. The most popular hand here on Gaming Mike's channel. Alright, we need 99, 102, 112. It's 99, 102, 112. That's what we need. Goodness sakes. I would like it if it would just... can't tell if it's level there. Go. 
Yeah, there we go. Oh, no! Ha. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, complicated mic. Uh, gaming mic says you can have the rest of the night off. Ninety nine one oh two one twelve. Level. Do I mind having floating smelters? Not really. Stainless steel steel. Oh, I called that one heavy metal. That's making our steel. And then I need to go grab some more smelters. <laughs> You're welcome. Plus six. One twenty six, one oh two, ninety seven. One twenty six, one oh two, ninety seven. This is the wrong thing. Damn it. Don't be tilted. Ninety six one oh two. Oh, what? Oh, it's ninety nine. Damn it. Ninety nine one oh two. Ninety seven. <laughs> I'll get it. 99, 102. 97. And then we got three levels of smelters making metal. This guy was going to be, what's the other heavy metal? Oh no, there's four of each, there's five of each of these. But we can't even make the higher level stuff though. Yet. Income L. Because we can't even make Catalyst 3 yet, but this was going to be the Income L. We'll rename it. Oops. Income L. We'll set it up for it. Because that's the next type of metal that we'll be able to make. We'll have him make a thousand automatically, just in case we ever get this stuff. And he goes to the heavy metal box. Which is... Right there. So they're all going to heavy metal. Oh, and what does he need? Pure nickel, pure chromium, pure iron, and catalyst three. We can hook up the nickel and iron now. Is nickel a tier three? Nickel's a tier three. Oh. Where's that iron box though? Iron and the uncommon. 
the chromium. Nickel is at tier three. Yeah. Right there. Tier three, right there. Oh, and hey, look at that. We're well into regular stream time. If anybody's just joining us, welcome, welcome. For those hanging out with us all night tonight so far, thanks for hanging out. It's Dual Universe here on Gaming Mike's channel. We are arranging the hell out of this factory for the GNG. Uh, so far, so good. I'm just trying to <laughs> keep my coordinates straight. I'm trying to keep my coordinates straight and get these smelters placed. But it's coming along. What do y'all think of the factory so far? I like having those metal works all up against the wall in there. I think that's going to work real well. The smelters I'm not so sure about right now. Maybe the Smeltrionic should go along the ground only. I think. Oh, thanks, Richard. Thanks, Pallet. Let's do it like this for now and see how it looks in the end. This might be alright. What is this? That's my Duralumin, and I have one called Light Metal. Light Metal right there. That goes at the bottom. What was this guy? 126. I mean, 76.5. 99, 76.5. Right there. We're going to rename this guy. Siluman. Because that's all he's making. He's dedicated. He's dedicated. What I really want to do is, uh, like I did with the refiners, once I have machines set up to make some stuff that I'm always going to need, just wall it all off. Like, I'd probably remove this wall around the refiners and then just close this whole thing off when it's done. Maybe down to the assembly lines only? I don't know. Maybe scooch those assembly lines over, uh, you know, to this end point. I don't know, Chad. I don't know. <laughs> There's so much possibility. Oh, and my electronics are no longer going to stack. I might be able to fit an electronic industry in between those. Can I? They were so particular the way they would fit these things. You got to really... Place them just right. they still place? I don't know if they'll place like this on this setup. But I was really digging the stacking of the... Nothing? That's crooked. Oh, there. Was that how I had it? Maybe they will stack. Oh. Oh. I think I can cram some electronics in between those smelters. I don't know. I'm getting distracted. Let's get the smelters placed. Uh, we have Silumen. This one, Duralumen. We're going for... Seventy-six point five. One oh six plus six. We want... Ninety-nine. 
99, 112, 99, 76.5, 112, gosh, looking at all the wrong things. Ninety nine seventy six point five one twelve. There. Easy. And that's my Dura Lumen. Yes, sir. Are we out of aluminum again already? We are. No, we're out of pure copper. Hey, funny imps, welcome to it. Cram the electronics. That's right, Richard. Ninety nine, seventy six point five, ninety seven. Ninety nine, seventy six point five, ninety seven. I think that one is tilted. It's tilted. Ninety-nine, seventy-six point five, ninety-seven. Easy peasy. Okay, and then there was one more light metal that this one was gonna be. The next one up. We've made Silomen, Duralumin. I think this is the next one. Lithium. Lithium's a tier three. Yeah. Plus the catalyst three. So A L L I alloy. A-L- not to be confused with A-L-F-E alloy. A-L-L-I alloy. That's the next level of light metal that we need to make. I need to get that Catalyst 3 going. We need to find tertiary metals. We need to go to space. There's so much stuff in this game, etc., etc. You've heard it all before, but damn. It's real involved. Lithium, aluminum, aluminium, and Catalyst 3. All we have right now is aluminium for that, but let's link it up. There it is. You're gonna go into there, and then you're gonna pop back out into light metals, which is this one. Light metals. I'm just waiting to hit max capacity on some of these links. I still haven't. I think it's only 10 links in and one link out per or no, it's 10 links in and 10 links out for containers. It's 4 links in and 1 link out for these uh, machines. That's what it is. Space is the place. I still gotta get, show you guys how the Reckless is flying these days. You guys and gals. You viewers. I just like the look of all the... Like, you can look down the row and when you know what's what, you can just see, is it running or is it not running? And if it's not running... You run on up to it, you'd be like, hey, why are my bi basic chemical containers not running? Oh, because it already made five? Well, that's fine. That's fine. It's factory stuff, man. I can't, I just, just can't get enough. We got six more smelters. Let's place them. What do we got? 99, 76.5. But these guys, we got 99.51 now, 99.51, right there, Ninety-nine fifty-one. One twelve was it? It was 112. And is that level? Nice. 99.51.97. Oh shoot, was it 51.5? 51. It was 51. 
51, 51. 97, 97. Check, check, check. Everything's fine. We got floating smelters. No big deal. 99.51? No, 99.25. Right there. 99.25.5. 112. 99.25.5.97. Well, negative 97 to be precise. Did we get them? Are they even? Not at all, you bastards. <laughs> it's hard to tell if they're flat. Flat? You're flat. Okay. Ninety nine twenty five point five. You flat? Yes. Smelters. Play some all. Hey, Rabbit Gripper, welcome to it. Thanks for joining us. Oh, that's a metalwork that I grabbed. That's okay. There's two more smelters as well. Oh, what do we got now? What do we got now? Hashtag links. <laughs> they gotta be even, Sav Jazz. Need your arm to be inside the wall, exactly. Flat as the earth. <laughs> oh, we're at the zero. We're at the zero mark, easy. 99. Zero. I think it's easier to tell if they're flat from this kind of 45 degree angle. You know? Depth and whatnot. Come on now, 112. Not 99.5 though. Is that flat? It's flat. Yeah, yeah, 45 degree angle is the way to go to tell if it's flat when placing. Oh, I only had two. Those are done. Metalwork industry. Let's place another one of those. Perfect. So, we got the heavy metals, we got the light metals. Oh, which one was alloy? One of these was an alloy smelter. It was this guy and I never placed him. Whoops. This row was supposed to be alloy. That's okay, I can just take him out. Put him in. Where were we? 126.51 99.51 Perfect. That's my alloy guy. He's making the A-L-F-E alloy. <laughs> Silomen, steel, stainless steel, Duralumin. Didn't rename it. Inconel. What do we got? This is A L L O L I alloy. A L L I. Can't put hyphens in there. It doesn't accept special characters in the names of machines. A L F E alloy. Oh, well, wait. That's an alloy. But it's a light metal. Oh, no. 
Oh, I guess I need to start calling these conductor metals. This is a conductor metal. That means I should rename the box. It's no longer alloys. Rename. Conductor metals. Michael Eaton, welcome back. Light metal, heavy metal, conductor metal. That actually works better. I mean, that makes more sense. Heavy metal, light metal, conductor metal. Okay. So this is ALFE alloy. Specifically, alloys are not all in the same category. ALFE alloy, we got copper reinforced copper, yeah, calcium reinforced copper. We've been able to make that before, but let's dedicate a machine to it. 2,000. I think that's kind of the ratio we've been going with. Uh, 6,000. 6,000. 6,000, 2,000. Yeah, 6,000 and 2,000. Then probably 1,000. I don't know. But let's give it an output box. It's going to go to conductor metals. And what does it take to make that? Copper and calcium. Which both come from my pure uncommon box. So it's got everything it needs, but we're out of copper. Okay, okay. Fair enough. But that thing's ready to go when we get the right materials. We can make ALFE alloy. Uh, Rabbit Gripper, no. No chair blueprint yet. I'm still... Still messing with this factory, man. Calcium reinforced copper, and then what? Catalyst 3, this guy. Pure silver, oh. C-U-A-G alloy. We'll have a dedicated machine for that. That's the next in the line. A thousand of those, you think? What did we do on these? We had them running infinite. Let's set them to a thousand. Even though they can't go yet. As soon as we get the materials, they will. That'll be nice. I'm working a little bit ahead. So, we need to come out of pure uncommon for this. And we don't have silver and we don't have catalyst yet, but when we do, we'll do that. And it goes out into... This is a conductor metal. So it goes in the conductor metals box. There. Wowzy. Can you fly to the space station and buy copper? I could run into town and check the marketplace. Uh, I don't know about space stations. I don't think any space... If space stations are all player built so far, then I don't think any of them would have marketplaces because I don't think players can build marketplaces. End of story. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> you follow? Electronics industry. Oi, now we got to get going with the electronics, though. So what did I have? That guy comes straight out of the alloy, so does that guy. A couple of them come straight out of ALFE alloy. It's my connectors and my components, which are both going into the same box because they're getting used to make stuff that can't go straight into the other box. But I do need to get this box off of this floor. So we'll stick him on top of here for now, because what am I doing with all this? Who knows? Intermediary parts, uncommon parts, basic parts. These are intermediary parts. That's a whole category. Intermediary. Nope. Basic connector. Yeah, it's in intermediary parts. Connector? 
Well, I know what I need to do. I need to look at an electronics industry recipe list. Intermediary parts, right. Components connectors. I'm just making basics so far. You dig what I'm laying down? Oh, good. You have a ton of copper and other resources in No Man's Sky. Awesome. So these electronics should probably do... Those are... Oh, gosh. And then what else in these recipes? Functional parts? Look at all these. This is where I started building one per category instead of one per type, because look at... Look at all this. Yikes. So many types of types. Exceptional parts, complex parts. And I think there might still be more in some categories that I haven't unlocked. It's ridiculous. So intermediary parts though, if we make six of those, we're gonna need a bigger box. We're gonna need a bigger interme intermediary parts box. You reckon? In fact... Enough space for a wall? Enough space for a wall. Let's do that, and then we'll put these... Like we done before. That would be good, yeah. Well, come on. There. Gosh. It wouldn't pull back. Just do that for now. Whoops. Yeah, Bixler, lots of speculation of a, uh, a full universe reset. Could be interesting. They haven't done it for a while, but they've done it before. It would be fun to try to go back out there and reclaim the capital again, kind of. It would be kind of fun. The electronics. The electronics. Uh, Sav Jazz, I don't think you can overlap the building blocks. I don't know if you can connect between them. I don't know. Hey, nice job away, team. Bixler and Pallet and Rabbit Gripper made it back with some extra points. Good one. This guy's cranking away. What is that? Steel? Nice. So. My, my, my. Intermediary parts are their own little deal. They're gonna get three apiece. And have their own output box.
It looks like they're all built with, the connectors are all conductor metals. The, compo the components are all conductor metals. All the intermediary parts are made of conductor metals. All right, all right. I'm starting to see it, chat. Well, you know what, can I rotate this? Oh, let me stand it on its head. Let me stand it on its head, would you? Or on its butt, rather. This could work. The movement. Let me pull it down, though. Why won't you let me pull it down? Oh, I have to go down with it. Huh? What is up with this? I didn't want it right there. <laughs> Damn it. What do we got? 76.5 and 51. Twenty-five point five? That does no good. Maybe it's just gonna be too much of a pain in the butt to stack them that way though. How many can I fit back here? Can you fit two together in that space? Wow. That's beautiful. 96. 96. So those are lined up on each side of the... What are they? Conductor metals? Sounds vaguely like Mannheim Steamroller. Hell yes. Jay Slider, welcome back. Can't sleep almost 5 a.m. Well, enjoy the smooth sounds of not Mannheim Steamroller on Definitely Gaming Mike's channel. Playing all your favorite 80s sounding synth wave from Pretzel Rocks. Radio. Basic components from this alloy. Basic connectors from that alloy. And then... These guys are going to be 112 also. 96. 60.5. Let's double check this. Intermediary parts. Connectors. Uncommon. Calcium reinforced copper, which is what we're making here. Yeah, I never renamed this. Calcium reinforced copper. Did I rename this guy? I did. CUAG alloy. So we got. Snug and symmetrical, just the way we like it. 
96, 60.5. Should they line up to the back? Should they line up to the... Is that where I like it? Maybe right there. Yeah. So where's that? 99.5? 99.5 How come it made me go out in one space? Oh, because there's little stuff sticking off the side. Little feetsies. Whatever. Hold up. That pushed it out one. Can we still fit them? We can still fit them next to each other. We can still fit them next to each other. So that works. So that works. Okay, 99.5, 60.5. And then we gotta go up to 112. Right? Because these were 112. 127, 127. Ninety-nine point five, sixty point five. Go on. Ninety-seven was it? It was 97. Okay. 99.541. Wow. No looking. Did that place right? It did. 97, 97, 95, 99.541. Okay. So that sets those. This guy is basic component, yes. This guy, basic connector. So this is the connector side. Connectors, we've got uncommon connectors. Uncommon connector. Whoa. Takes in links from... No compatible link type found. Oh, it's gotta come from the boxes. Too bad you can't just feed the machines into each other though. For real. Legit. So, conductor metals is all it needs. Oh. All plugs are... Oh, because this guy. This guy. Conductor metals has both of those things, yes. And how many? If we're making 750 of those... This is all going into intermediary parts, which I'm going to make into a bigger box. So we'll do 500. I think we had that ratio on something else, too. The Feng Shui is strong within these walls. Yes, it is. <laughs> Rabbit Gripper with the dad joke of the night. Justice is a dish best served cold. Where it's served warm, it would be just water. <laughs> we need a bigger intermediary parts box. Don't distract me. This is it. Intermediary parts. Look, we have these boxes down here. Oh, don't link it. Grab it. Grab it. We need to... Break the output links on these. Intermediary parts broken. 
This guy. Basic component, intermediate parts, broken. There you go. Oh no, what's he linking to though? Those two electronics. So we'll take this guy and link it there. And we'll take this guy and link it there to replace those links when we move these parts over. What else is he linking to? He's linking to assembly line L59. That's this guy. L59. So we need to link him to L59. And then he's also linking to functional parts. Oh wait, that's Metalwork Industry 73. Functional parts 73. That's 76. That's 73. Replace that link. We've replaced those links. Where else? He's linking to complex parts 84. Complex parts 84. I want to replace the links before I move this stuff so that production doesn't stop on anything. That looks like all his outbound links. Let's just make sure by placing them up there. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Basic power system and basic electronics. Okay. The links have been replaced. So now, we're gonna take all his stuff and put it in here. And now it's only at 99%. You're copy-pasting them from the bot? That's perfect. That's perfect. And then I can... break all these links. And we'll name this guy... Container XS41. Oh, just Container XS is fine, actually. And... Move him down to the extra container pile. Boom, you're done. And we have this intermediary intermediary parts box that wants to fit up here better. Oh, come on now. There, so we've got basic parts, parts M. Oh, I didn't rename it. But those are intermediary parts. This used to be the parts M box. Great. electronics we'll just call this I'm gonna rename it par uh, basic parts just to fit with the naming scheme intermediary parts basic parts what's this guy this is our uncommon parts already 47% full he should probably get his own box too a bigger box I don't think it's even connecting to anything though. Oh, come on. This used to be the quartz box. Uncommon parts. This guy, yeah, he's not linking to anything. Perfect. Perfect. 
We'll just go ahead and slap this stuff in the bigger box. Easy peasy. Put this guy down in the extra boxes area. Now, goodness. Tony Alva story, interesting. Basic, uncommon, intermediary. Those come out of electronics. The others though, these are being made, that's electronics. But some of them, the basic is kind of a mix. The basic and the, and into, uh, the basic and uncommon can come out of all kinds of machines. Those intermediary parts only come out of electronics, though. So the uncommon connectors. go into each intermediary parts and then advanced connectors two fifty not twenty five hundred is that right five hundred two fifty it's also gonna go into intermediary parts Oh, we're out of links. We're out of links from the alloy. We'd have to start transferring. Oh my goodness. We'd have to set up transfer for what? Hold up, I'm wrong. It's gotta come out of the alloy box. Or I'm sorry, the conductor metal box. the wrong type of link doy a doy 250 so that'll start once we get finally some cuag alloy <laughs> skaters don't go skating they go skate yeah man get it right oh but we're actually making some uncommon connectors cool intermediary parts did we have uncommon connectors anywhere else no but the uncommon components are actually going to go in the in, in the intermediary parts box yes so let's do that properly power systems processors Oh, those magnets are in there too. That's nice. Okay, and then this side is components. What? Missing output containers, uh-oh. Intermediary. Oh, we must not have replaced that link. What is this song? You'll never be better than Commander Shepard. Miracle of sound, you wacky goofs. Components, uncommon. Is that right? Are we on the component side? Yeah. Same deal, connects to the same stuff. And then... We're maintaining 500. Cool. Intermediary parts, uncommon components. <laughs> You'll never be better. Advanced components. We want 250 of these, not 2500.
to there, from there. And we have enough connections still. Wow. Uh, yeah. Complicated Mike. I believe this is a, a Stargate song. It's funky. Actually, coming up on three and a half hours. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. back hello everybody <laughs> thanks for hanging in there with me gaming mike here we're playing dual universe in case you didn't know it i'm just working on this factory so much tonight i can't get enough of the factory action going on it's quite a rabbit hole and i don't want to get out of it 
I like it. It's good stuff. It's good factoryization. It's good factoriosity. It's very satisfactory, but not the game called Satisfactory. And that's right, Richard, Richard, yes, there is a Pretzel Rocks bot, but it only announces on Twitch. But if you're ever curious about the music, you can always ask me too about which song it is. I need to see about if there's a command I could set up that would relay that information if you typed current song, like that command I used to have on the old robot. I don't know. Okay, so we've got the intermediary parts set up around the conductor metals. What else were we making? We have this guy. He's like conductor metal adjacent, but he takes the connectors. He's a basic power system. Hello, basic power system. And it's already labeled. And since he's using stuff that comes from, well, right here, was it 99.5, 60.5? It was. Um, should I float him up to the middle, though? 112, 127 is a difference of 8 plus 7 is 15, so we would need 7.5 difference, so 119.5. 119.5. Let's just float it. Right in the middle. Oh, that's lovely. Ugh, oh, the symmetry. Was that the right side, though? He's taking connectors, not components. You bastards. 119.5 was our z-axis. Ninety-nine point five forty-one. One nineteen point five. Yeah. Okay. So he uses the basic alloy and the basic connectors that we're producing here and here. Dancing. Great. Was anybody using components? This guy. And some plastic. This guy's doing nothing yet. This guy's doing nothing yet. But this is basic electronics. What other basics do we have? In fact, where's basic electronics? He's in complex parts. This song is jazzing me up. The only thing worth making is progress. Rabbit Gripper? Damn, bro. Profound AF tonight. Basic electronics, that's a complex part. Functional parts. God, look, control systems. There's so much stuff to make. But I've been needing basic electronics. It's on the list, it's in there, it's going. It makes from components. He's a candidate for this spot right now. That plastic comes from an entirely other industry. But how much do I want to discriminate? Lovely. The plastic box needs to go up above anyway. Hey, plastic. Well, not yet. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. But what does he draw from? Just the plastic box and the components box, which is right here and right here. Maybe later I'll replace that somewhere more in between the two. I don't even know where I'm going to stick chemical industry yet. I don't even know. But for now, that's good. Then what's something else that we've been building a lot of that comes out of electronics? 
components, electronics. This is why I had the electronics. Uh, the power systems. We've got something making power systems, I thought. What do you make a basic power system? Is that one of these? Basic power system. It's also a complex part. How many of those do we need? Twenty-five for that. Twenty-five, maybe fifty at a time, just to be safe. Basic power system. Connectors and the alloy. Twenty-five of those. Just to be safe, we'll have a basic power system going. He's going to output to... You can't put him in assembly parts. Is that thing full? We can get a complex parts box going now. Where was it pulling those out of already? Power systems. Oh, it's in basic parts. Oh, we got a basic parts box, that's right. Well, all right. So you can output to the basic parts box. No, wrong, wrong, wrong. What's this guy doing? He's linked to the assembly parts box also? Get out of here. What are you doing? Basic power system to basic parts. We need alloy and connectors. That's that guy. Nope, we gotta go from the box. Conductor metal. And the connectors come out of intermediary parts. Yes, that's right. So now he can maintain 25. Oh, I've got 502. Should we maintain 500 then? If you already built that many, just keep it there. Basic power systems, 500. Maybe those should be 750. But it uses alloy and connectors, which would mean it would fit. Somewhere in there. Alloy, straight up uses alloy. So do the connectors though. This also uses alloy and connectors. Wait, basic power system. Oh my god. Did I just duplicate that box because I'm a dummy? <laughs> a waste of time. We already have one of those, y'all. Basic. Basic electronics, basic power, basic processors. Okay, this is going to be a basic processor box. Oh, and look, that takes basic fixations. Where do you make the basic fixations? Basic processor. You can be 100 of those. Gosh sakes. This guy into there, that guy into the basic box.
What makes the fixations, though? Is it a machine part? Probably. Fixations? No? No? Fixation. Oh, 3D printer, maybe. Well, how the heck do I make a 3D printer, Edgar? I didn't know that was a thing. That's a whole other industry. Assembly line M. Do I have an M that's doing nothing? Left to process zero. We built all the smelters. Let's build us a couple 3D printers, eh? We need to build fixations. Um, how about... Oh my god, what kind of... Production list, no. Recipe, no. Holy heck. How many 3D printers do I want to build? Let's start with three. Let's start with three. I don't know what all they build. Star Trek 4 canceled, bummer. No more Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto. Pipe, robot arm. Reinforced frame. Basic injectors is something I need to start making. Oh, those are also made on a 3D printer? I guess I have to make them myself. Basic injectors. How many? 25, so to make 3 I need 75 basic injectors? Let's go 25 at a time, one, two, three, and then I need 300 screws, 450 polycarbonate plastic. 300 screws, 450 polycarbonate plastic. Oh, and we have that much. 450 of that. Screw box, where did it go, up here? pipes, this is screws, 300 screws, there, and those started, it takes 20 minutes to build 25, oh man, so I need these, so I'll have three 3D printers to start building these, alright, and that was all, process, oh, to build fixations, which are needed to make the processor. So I think I have some basic fixations up in this box. I have a hundred of them. In the basic parts box. Oh, wrong box, man. Oh, but he's putting out into the basic parts box, so a fixation would have to go in a complex parts box, which I have. Because I just built it. There you go. Maintain 100 basic processors using basic fixations, 12 at a time. But he's going to start building those. Basic processors into complex parts. That works. Using the alloy and some basic fixations. How am I going to start arranging these? They all use alloy. All these electronics are using conductor metals. Throws off the balance. How to arrange electronics industries. Oh, hey. 
Oh, hey, roof, ceiling, floor, whatever. the middle of it. Not even related stuff. Maybe something like that. Paramount is making no more Star Trek movies? Did they say their reason, Bixler? That's a bummer. I was really enjoying those new Star Trek movies. Good darn it. Good dang it. Gosh, to doodly it. Basic electronics are also complex parts. Maybe they should be outputting to the complex parts box. They take in from plastic and intermediary. The loss of, oh, Chekhov, yeah. Uh, Anton, I can't think of his last name. I can't think of his last name, but yeah, che he was playing Chekhov, right? I mean, you gotta have Chekhov in original, original Star Trek stuff. What the heck was his name? He was a good actor, that kid. Anton Chekhov. No, am I thinking Anton Chekhov? No, it's Anton Yelchin. It is Anton. Anton Yelchin. That's his name. Yeah, too bad. Killed by his own car, too. Didn't it, like, just roll into him or something in his driveway? Like, ouch. That's no way to go. You don't want your car to roll into you in your own driveway, and that's how you die. It's one of those, it's like, just so... Whoops. Whoops. That happened, now I'm dead. That's rough. Just a dumb accident, you know? Very unfortunate. I liked him, though. He was in, even before Star Trek, he was starting to uh, appear in quite a few things. I was digging that kid as an actor. Alright, so 3D printers are a thing. We queued up three of them to see what they can do. We need more basic injectors, which I'm making. So as soon as I get these basic injectors made, we're about halfway there on the first batch. I'll put those in the basic parts box for now, because it's already linked up. Then we'll start on a 3D printer. What are we making over here? 
One left to process, electronics industry. We're almost done making all the electronics industries. Feely Boy says Star Trek's now retro. Well, gosh, that first one came out in like 2011. It's been almost 10 years since the first of the new original Star Trek reboot movies came out, right? What do you call them? I don't know. <laughs> what a mouthful. I want to turn these boxes. Do you think I should? I'm going to. His name was Anton Yelchin. His name was Anton Yelchin. I'm just kidding. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But sometimes things just remind me of Fight Club, okay? I watched that movie a lot in the early 2000s, just like a lot of us did, and some of it just stuck. Seventeen zero seventy five point five. space for a wall enough space for a wall does anybody else have a fight club like quotes from the movie and just memorized lines just stuck in your brain all the time and just they pop up I mean you're not always thinking about it but just just sometimes there's a fight club reference in your head for that you know anybody else get that is that just me <laughs> I hope not those boxes uh oh that's not centered difference of eight we need 109.5 there baby oh no we need 105.5 and 109.5 <sighs> what do you mean you won't let me unless I raise it up one was it what get out of here don't do this to me I'll put the uncommon pure right on top of this box I don't care That's fine. That's fine. It can live up there forever, for all I care. Placement. Lacking in Fight Club quotes, but you got me for Goonies quotes. Oh, Goonies was a big one, man. Rabbit Gripper, for sure.
You get visions more than quotes. Glory is visions. <laughs> Complicated Mike has never seen Fight Club. All right, all right. Fair enough. I mean, it's it's not, you know, it's not required viewing. But uh, that movie came around when I was like a junior in high school. I remember watching it at my friend's house for the first time. Same friend where I played uh, Final Fantasy VII on his PlayStation. Same friend. He showed me Fight Club. And he did not spoil the twist. And so it was quite impactful for me at that age. That was a very... <laughs> that was a very whoa dude movie for me. You know? Whoa dude. It was so whoa dude. <laughs> Pre-Matrix blowing my mind, you know what I mean? Oh, where are we at on this? Hold up. 109.5 and zero? I can't have that. I can't half that. Let's say it's 109 and zero. That gives us... 54 and a half. So right there. One twenty two. These are the smelter boxes. Space for a wall? Yes. That's right. Okay. And then the screws come out of the heavy metal box. And the pipes, they come out of the light metal box. And just so many things come out of the alloy, the conductor metal box. They're not alloys. Well, some are alloys, but they're conductor metals. Some old school Val Kilmer, man. I really liked that Doors movie. He was great in that. There we go. A little more separated. Those metal boxes are all coming from the smelters. Everything's getting made into these. Assembly parts boxes. The electronics have to start feeding in there. This guy's still doing nothing. Were these two both complex parts? What do we have? Basic processors are complex. Uh, basic electronics are complex. What other types of complex parts do we need to make? Complex. Electronics power systems and processes. We have one for power systems. Don't do that again. We have one for power systems, making it a complex part. Should we rip that out of there? Maybe it doesn't belong in there after all. He's another complex part in a complex world. So let's not force him to try to fit in with those other electronic machinery. What's it's 8051. 8051. Oh, I was close. There, stacking. Complex. These should all be outputting, I think, to complex parts now. I'm gonna change this to complex. To match his brothers. This guy, too. 
complex parts instead of basic. No, actually, I'll leave them there for now because these connections are getting tight and maybe... Maybe we don't need to do that yet. For now, I'm dumping them. The basic parts and the... Uncommon parts. See, you know what? I have... How many large containers do we still have to place? Oh, I got two now. That could be a basic and an uncommon parts box each. Heck, I don't know anything. Kendall's in the house. Kendall, welcome to it. Good evening, sir. Thanks for joining us for some Dual Universe. Kendall, have you played much this week? Or, uh, since I last asked you about it. It's Monday, so this week has been short so far, but have you played much, Kendall? Have you seen this factory that I've been building? Kendall, have you even been over to the Gecknip Gang official claimed tile by Mr. Michael K in the game? <laughs> Kendall, if you haven't, you're missing out. And Hoybit's in the house as well. Hoybit, welcome to it, sir. Good to see you. Oh, I got the basic injectors. I need to put them in the basic parts box. Hey, I made those. I thought it was going to consume them immediately. What happened? What else are you missing? You have everything. Unknown server error. Are we crashing? Oh, no. Just some hitch. Some hitch. But we're actually halfway through the next set already. And how long does that take to make a 3D printer? A half an hour. So we'll be done. No, not quite with all three sets by the time the first one's made. It's fine. Finally got a working speeder after the server crash, but have not made it over there yet. Roger that, Kindle. I have been arranging this factory tonight. It's coming along. It's coming along. Big time? I don't... I don't know how to arrange this electronics industry, though. It's gonna get real complex. It's gonna get real complex. Why have we not placed these other smelters? What's going on? What's my holdup? What's my deal? 990127. This guy's gonna go. Oh, wait. 99, negative 25.5. Right there, and then what? 990. Oh, this one's easy. We just have to. Go on, there. 97 here, I think. Oh. Go on. Right there. Okay, smelters. That, was that all the smelters it made and then it was done and we switched to 3D printers? Well, I think I'd actually like one, two, three, four, five more smelters. Wouldn't I? Maybe I can finally start stacking some electronics on this last smelter. Actually. That's our duralumins. That's our conductor metals. God, what, what else can you make in here? Conductor heavy light. That's it. It was those. So then we'd be getting into the high grade. Yeah, I mean, we can't even make Catalyst 3 yet. The rest of these are Catalyst 4, Catalyst 5. SCAL alloy, Catalyst 4. So we're a ways off from this. I'm not even going to bother 
trying to assign them to anything. But in fact, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Isn't there five of each? Five of each type? Light metals, one, two, three, four, five. Heavy metals, one, two, three, four, five. Conductor metals. So why did I make... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I made one extra. That's what happened. I made an extra smelter. But that's okay. This box is already called excess. So that's an extra smelter. Extra smeltrionics for your evening. So that means I could just start doing electronics here instead. How many electronics uh, bins? Industries can we fit along the front of a sh or a metalwork? Four, comfortably, with just a touch of spacing left over. Yeah, that's nice. Oh my god. Math is hard this late in the evening palette PC. <laughs> it is. Have I saved lately? Oh, Kendall, Kendall, in your talents, if you want to, you can just... Look it, this one has 43 hours left, watch. You can't, oh wait, can't you? I could have sworn you could rearrange those. What happened? I could have sworn. I could have sworn it let me replace one one day. Did they change that in the recent? There was an update the other day. Oh, I thought you could just drag it over the top. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. That's a prerequisite. Here we go, look, this one. That one was a prerequisite, that's why I couldn't drag it up there. But look, I just replaced uncommon pure honeycomb efficiency that takes 43 hours with this 13 minute skill. So as long as it's not a prerequisite, Kendall, you can drag shorter timed skills up above. Um, and actually, I think, I'm not 100% on this, but I think if you abandon learning one, it saves your time, but I... Uh, don't quote me on that. Google that before you try it, if you try it. You cannot delete one. Or you can delete the, uh, like this one, I can't delete, but it's because prerequisite, something about prerequisites. Like I can delete this one. Why can't I delete this one? Cooper, copper, not Cooper, copper honeycomb refining. Yeah, because this one is a prerequisite of this one. So I can't delete this until I delete the prerequisite. So if you want to delete it entirely, you have to delete all of its prerequisites. Or all of its, yeah. Post requisites? Prerequisites. It's got to do with the prerequisites, Kendall. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, I don't know. I think that's how it works. I think that's how it works. You're telling me I could have two rows of electronics per smelter? I love this. I love this. That'll be perfect. This guy's at 106. This guy's at, oh, 16. He's at negative 15. Hold on. 16, 16. 90.5, 106. But they take up the same space as one of those and one of those. I can have eight electronics in one go. That's dope. Uh, 
that's dope. I feel like a spy. All around us by a filion. How many of these do I have left? None. That was all of them. That's all the rest of them that I've built so far. Is anybody else still cranking out electronics industries? Left to process none. That's the rest of my electronics right there. So, heck. What about these three? We're making the complex parts. Processors, power systems, electronics. Advanced, basic, exotic, rare, uncommon. Gosh! That's a lot of stuff. Electronics, power systems, processors. That's what we're doing, right? Processor, electronics, power systems. And those are the complex parts. I'm just doing basic right now. But these three could theoretically just be swapped to uncommon or advanced or rare or exotic eventually. Oh my goodness. But for now, I think the basics is all I've really ever needed. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here I fit eight. Ay, ay, ay. Aye, 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 Zordon. Where do I stick these other three? These complex parts makers. I know what to do. Sixteen, twenty-two, twenty-eight. Six between each. So if I... Ninety-eight point five negative nineteen, or is it ninety-eight point five nineteen point five? Oh, come on! Right there. Let's do them up here. Complex parts makers on the ceiling. Why not? Oh no, I bumped it. Electronics. Of course, you can only reach those in build mode. No, wait, no, you can reach them from here. Oh, cool. So after I get this all arranged, what I want to do is mess with some of the control panels because I think that you can set up a control panel where I can just beep boop beep and switch one of these machines to start making something else. But that's going to take some Lewis scripting and stuff. Oh, you did apply. Oh, Kendall. Oh, hold up. Let's go. Gacknip gang members. Ah, uh, where is it? Recruiting. Kendall Southwick. I'm sorry, I didn't see this. There you go. Boom, you're in. Kendall Southwick is in. That means all this stuff at this factory should be usable by you, Kendall. So if you ever want to come here to build something, I'm trying to keep it stocked up. But basically, 
any raw materials you can bring here, you can then um, make into stuff. That's what I'm going for. This can be a base for us to all just be able to make something. And then if we all just keep bringing raw materials whenever we want to make stuff to keep it stocked up, it should keep running all the time or as long as there's materials. Yeah, sorry, Kendall, I hadn't actually looked at the um, the membership screen for a couple days. I hadn't even thought about it. We got to get Spotrick on here, too. We got to get Spotrick on here. But yeah, Kendall, if you want to come this way and start using this factory, feel free. It's look, it's branded. GNG, you can see it right there. You see it on the floor? You see it? Polished green steel and stainless red steel. <laughs> it's like the sign up at the other base, except bigger and on the middle of the floor. Uh, Kendall, yeah, if you do that, that'll be great. If we ever need to go there for resources, we'd, we'd be able to, if you do that. Uh, but we've still got, I've still been mining the ground around here. It's working pretty well so far. Look at all this stuff! Dang, that's a huge factory. My lord. And so we've gotten into the 3D printers. We've built all of the electronics industries that we're gonna that we need for right now. I needed to build a few more chemical industries and glass furnaces. I think at least three of each of those. Or actually, let's go five. So let's build four more chemical industries. Apply that, make four, until I really learn what they build. I don't know what they build so much yet. Start that, and we have the ingredients. He'll start making them right now. Glass furnaces, how's this guy doing? We built all our metalwork industries so we can switch it. Glass furnace. Apply that, make four more of those too because I already have one. What do you need? Basic power transformer. I am not building those, but look at all this industry. Basic power transformer. Components in steel. Components in steel. How much does it need per... It just needs one. So let's maintain five. Let's just maintain five of those. Start that. We need basic components. We need steel. So we have... Oh, we go up to the inventory level. Steel. Heavy metals. into this guy. And then basic components, I think, are in the basic box. Nope, they're complex. Are they? Nope, they're in the, uh, they're intermediary. So we connect intermediary parts to this guy. And then he's running, but he's got nowhere to output. We'll just throw him in the basic box because he didn't use the basic box. Oh, actually, that's a functional part. Oh, see, we can line those up. Let's see. Like we have the metalworks. There's functional, complex, and structural. I bet these don't build anything structural, though. No. They also have exceptional and intermediary. May have a spare hauler speeder in the future also, Kendall? That'd be great. A hauler would be fantastic. If you get with Spotrick when he starts playing, Kendall, if I'm not around, if he wants to uh, come claim a tile next to this one, I think that would be ideal for us to own a tile adjacent just so for mining purposes. There's still a couple left. He could have this one, this one, this one, this one and still be touching if he doesn't mind doing that it's not a requirement i don't want to tell him he has to 
I don't want it to be in order. But if he doesn't know where else to claim, I'm out here by Sanctuary 10. Just uh, when the time comes, ping me on Discord and I should be able to get you coordinates uh, for my zone. And then he can pick anything that's still available. But that would really help us with mining and, and fueling this facility is if we had mining rights in one of the adjacent tiles. That would help a ton. That would help a ton. Well, it would just make it easier uh, for gathering purposes so I don't have to haul so much back and forth. But you know, he's free to claim wherever he wants to. But this factory is getting really useful, so for starting off, it's going to be pretty nice, I think. It's going to be pretty nice. Plastics. Let's move this guy. This is our plastics box. It's all we've got so far. And what am I doing with it? I think it was a 750... Yeah, Kendall, that's another thing. If you guys get going on your tile really well, that that's also good. Whatever you guys want to set up. I think eventually I'm probably going to try to turn this into a spaceship factory factory. But for right now, it's just sort of been a learn how to build everything factory. I've been learning as I go with it. So, I don't know. See, and here is... Uh, these refiners were being used for brick and wood at one point. They're not... Re well, the brick I've been using, which is good. I've got these honeycomb refiners. Those need to be arranged. But for this stuff... Heck. Heck. I don't know. Oh, I was gonna build one more metalwork, wasn't I? Oh, and I got more of these basic injectors. Oh, this one's thumping. I have three more electronics that got built. I didn't realize there were three more building. Or three more in my inventory. So I think what I need to do... One oh six? I need to move these to the one oh six X axis. 19.585 Right there. Uh... 25.585 31.585 right there and then I can ninety point five Six on top, eight on bottom. X coordinates the same. Y coordinates off centered. I should probably just build two more, but for now that's fine. And this one is a basic power system. This guy's basic electronics basic processor. I didn't rename this one. These guys are unassigned. This guy was assigned to functional part basic power transformer M.
There you go. Now we know what he's making. The rest of these are not making anything yet. in here. Basic components. Is he still linked? No. That must have been one last batch that got made. Basic components are in complex parts. Basic processors. Which line's coming out of this guy? Basic processor in the complex parts. Alright. Is he the only one going into complex? Oh, these guys are going into basic still. That's why. Even though they're all complex parts, but he's taking out of basic parts, so he can't do that. That's why. Plastic intermediary. But they could all be going into complex parts. Not, not 100% necessary right now. I think we'll be fine. Tired is your new normal rabbit gripper? Get some sleep. All right, all right. Missing storage capacity. Oh, basic parts is full. Okay, basic power transformer is a functional part. Shoot, then we do need to take the complex parts out. We do need to. They go to basic, they go to basic. Let's move them. Basic electronics and basic power systems. Oh, see. Maybe the ceiling isn't the best place for these guys. I can't see their links. I can't see their links. <laughs> That's a problem with this design. Check it out. There, that'll, that'll do. We'll go like this instead. And we can see the links. That's important. Whoa. Alright, Rabbit Gripper, we'll catch you later. Thanks for hanging out tonight.
appreciate your candor. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out if you haven't already, but it looks like everybody has. we got 18 viewing and 18 likes on YouTube. If you're tuned into another channel other than YouTube, hey, thanks for hanging out there as well. I don't care where you watch. GamingMikesChannel.com has info on all the places to which I stream. Basic parts output. Basic transformers. Yeah, that's the output line. So we'll disconnect. Oh wait, basic power transformer. Actually, we wanted to leave that one connected to basic parts. <laughs> what? Getting confused by the lines. No, he's still good. Okay. This guy. He needs to stop going to basic parts. He needs to start going to complex parts. Basic power system. This one. Basic power system to basic parts. Break it. This one. Basic electronics to basic parts. Wait. There it is. Break it. So that has no output. That has no output. Power systems and electronics. He's going to complex parts, which is good. Oh, <laughs> that is a lot. These are all in complex parts now. Okay, that's all good and well. Then I want to connect them to the output complex parts. So that all my complex parts makers are outputting to the complex parts box. Perfect. Missing input ingredients. You need basic fixations. Are those not? Did you use them all up? Oh yeah. Used them all up. Making those processors. That's fine. Okay, now what was using basic power systems? We need to disconnect this guy from basic parts. This is assembly line M53. There it is. Disconnect that and connect complex. Good to go. Who else was using basic parts? Basic power transformers come from complex parts. He still needs basic parts. Okay. Oh, do we have power transformers? What's going on with that? Are we out? Basic power transformer. Stay within the lines. The lines are your friends. Oh, yeah, these... Wait.
This is a functional part. Basic power transformer. Oh, this guy's building them. It's a basic parts, so this guy still needs to be connected to basic parts. And he is. That's fine. Alright, we're good to go. Everything on the assembly lines can still produce. Holy cow. Plastics up here. What else do we have going on? Oh, that's ship parts. This was building parts. Oh, but I had the glass furnace outputting into the building parts because it was making advanced glass. It still is. It's maintaining 150. Nice. We got 154 advanced glass. Okay. Smelters. Electronics. These electronics are around these smelters because they're directly taking all these alloys. That's why we put them over here. Those are specifically for our intermediary parts. That makes sense. And then the rest of the electronics are all over here. Cranking away. I could probably build two more electronics industries if I really wanted to. 3D printers, glass industries, but we've already moved on to the chemicals. We can fill that in later once we get some of the other industries built. Did we have any more metalworks? Oh, we have a 3D printer. Oh, lucky. This song is weirding me out, man. Look at this 3D printer. gonna print me some stuff in 3D. And what did we want? Transformers with him? No. was the transistors. 3D printer so we could build something for one of the other things. Wasn't it? <laughs> I don't remember why I wanted to build that 3D printer. Oh, carbon fiber? What do you do with carbon fiber? Yo, inspect. Polycarbonate plastic and pure carbon makes carbon fiber. I wanted to make really cool things, oh yeah. Oh look, I can make casings. I can make, oh it was fixations. It was basic fixations. But for what? Oh, for one of the electronics industries. There's one of these guys. But I wanted to start making something in. Yeah, there it is, the basic processors. So it takes 12 of those. Let's say we maintain 
A hundred fixations? A hundred seems like a good number to start with. Let's make a hundred fixations. Maintain it. Start that, and then you're gonna link to the basic parts box. And what do you need? Polycarbonate plastic, so you're gonna link from the plastics box. Huzzah! Using up some polycarbonate plastic, which is being made by the chemical industry, I believe, to make basic fixations a hundred at a time. Chemical industry, polycarbonate plastic, maintaining 600. Perfect! Because either I could or I wanted one, it's one of those things, I'm sure. I'm sure of it, Kendall! Okay, okay. Now we're really cooking. Now we're really cooking! Three D printer, honeycombers, two refineries for making materials to honeycomb with. That's like a whole different section, but this section I'm feeling real good about. This whole assembly line process I'm feeling great about. Heck yes. I don't know where the chemical and glass industries will go yet or the 3D printers or the honeycombers. But, um, dang, <laughs> this factory stuff is just nuts. Oh, I was going to move those transfer units somewhere useful. We got all the silicon, all the iron, all the carbon. Just aluminum. It just needs bauxite. Kendall, if you do make it out this way, if you can bring a load of bauxite, I've been in desperate need of that lately. That's been my main... main thing. Heavy metals, screws, pipes... So far it's fine. We've got some uncommon being built of both. That's good. Steel, stainless steel, silumin, duralumin, ALFE alloy, calcium reinforced copper. It's alright, it's alright. Where's this plastics box gonna go? Plastic box. Maybe the chemical industry goes in here. How many were we building though? Five? Oh, maybe we start putting stuff in between these assembly lines though, huh? Like a little reverse pyramid of these. Could we fit three across? Probably. Bit two. Yo, Ozzy, thanks for the follow over on Twitch. Welcome aboard over there. We could fit two and a third, or you know, two there, three here. And then maybe the same with the glass. Seventy one. Sixty point five.
Hello. song <laughs> thanks pretzel rocks all right so i think that'll be some nice placement for the chemical and the glass we'll fit them in there by the assembly lines keeping with that l shape i guess and then this wall can be for like these are the uh the honeycombers make things that you can actually go out and use. These just feed into those. The 3D printer. He's making parts. We're going to need more of those. Maybe we can slap the 3D printers up on the ceiling or something. I don't know. And then these two are just making hydrogen and oxygen. They'll also make scraps, these machines, but I haven't done that much that needs scraps lately. Richard with the diamond over on DLive, that's the highest treat there is. Richard, thank you very much for spending your Lino on me. <laughs> oh, DLive. Oh, DLive. Michael Eaton taking off. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight, Michael. Coming up on five hours of the stream so far. I tell you, I've been putting more hours than I care to admit into this game lately, but I don't have any regrets. It's just been a lot of fun. Just arranging this junk is really satisfying. Satisfying junk arrangement. These transfer units. Taken out of all of those, they're putting into there. Can I fit them underneath again? Oh, I have just enough room back here. Just hide my little oxygen and hydrogen transfer units away from the world. Because who cares? They're just there doing their job. They don't need any recognition. They don't need to be seen. They don't need to be noticed. They're just happy to transfer. They fit together real swell. Let's put it in the back absolute backiest back corner. One twenty-four. Is that clipping? Yes, it is. 
121.5. Come on. 123. Right there. No clipping. No clipping. There, and that's how they fit together. And then those two can just be transferring oxygen and hydrogen into my excess for all time. Oh, another chemical industry. Lovely. Let's place it. 71, 98.5. That looks like it's all lined up. Nice. What else can we make out of a chemical industry right now? Explosive modules? Product, catalyst, see I need to start making this but I need tier 3 materials. I haven't found any tier 3 materials yet. I think I need to go to other planets for that. But product, polycarbonate, polycalcite? We can make this. One, two, three, four, five, just for the plastics. But polycalcite doesn't need a catalyst. The others do. So let's make this a polycalcite plastic. What's this guy? Polycarbonate? He's making that. He's making 600, putting it into the plastics container. So we'll go 300 on this guy. Put him into the plastics container. And he needs what ingredients? Calcium and carbon. So. Calcium's in there, carbon is there. And he's going. He's making 300 polycalcite plastic. Oh, I already had 200 in there? Oh, I did make some a while ago, yeah. That's right. 600, 300. And maybe 150 of the next tier up. You think? Yeah, Bixler, this is inventory management to a new extreme. This game is pushing boundaries on inventory management. Look at all this stuff I created just so I could make space for more of this stuff that I created. It's insane. Insane, I tell you. guys aren't making any byproducts. I like that though. Those are going along. Works. Smelter, containers, transfer units. Smeltrionics, as they're known. Yeah, and Zooks, that's really working out. And I have six smelters that I can start making stuff with as I grow into them. 
Just 3D printers cranking out fixations. Lordy! I think it's working, y'all. My goodness. Talked about it a while ago, never really got to it. But I want to show you how the ship flies now. There's no more tipping and bobbing when I turn. I can put the gear up. Look at, I can just point a direction. I'm no longer hovering. It's a pilot, it's a pilot seat instead of a hovercraft seat. So I can do stuff like this and just get going. And I can do stuff like this and really fly upward to get some altitude. And I can do stuff like barrel rolls now. Because I switched it to a pilot seat. There's a, a command you can run on the pilot on the seats to make them a pilot seat instead of a hovercraft seat. And that's what I was missing. Because this baby really flies now. This baby can really maneuver. It's flying even more like a plane than it was before. Because it's no longer set to be a hovercraft. I can nose down as well. Which is really nice. I was unable to nose down properly before. Shard Vixen taking off. We'll catch you later. Thanks for coming by tonight. Who is parked out there? Somebody's parked out by the base. But yeah, this baby, the Reckless, she's really... She's really pulling her weight now. I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased. Oh, careful. I can put my gear down. Oh, I've even reverse thrusted. I'm reverse thrusting. Is that the neighbor? Do you think the neighbor parked out there? Now check it. Oh, I can come in for the landing. Way better than before. Way better than before. I love it. So glad I ran the auto configure on the pilot seat. Is that the neighbor? Did he park on my lawn? This guy parked on my lawn. Boom, landed. Sliding down the hill, no big deal. See you later, Reckless. Go wherever you need to. Whose is this? Yeah, Tush JD. What are you doing? He finally moved his speeder and he parked it on my lawn. Tush JD, get your speeder off my lawn, sir. This old place. I haven't even been back to it since we moved out. Oh, I should move my resurrection pod down. I guess it doesn't matter. I can spawn up at the top of the hill. I'd be fine. There's the landing pad. Dang meddling kids. Gold Dernit. The old log cabin though. There she blows. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's the log cabin. Still with the rows of seats. I wish that I could move the camera down. I don't think they have a button for that. In camera mode. Control C much better. Sav Jazz, yeah, it's a huge improvement. There's that auto configuration. It's crazy. But yeah, the, uh, the pilot seat is much better than the hover seat once you get airbound. Once you're no longer just a hovercraft and you put actual 
wings and things on there, it's much better. Much better controls. Well, it's different. Like, before, I could tap W to go forward and S to go backwards, but now that's nose up and nose down, no matter what I'm doing. And I can still, I still have the hover pads. I can lift off the ground like this with the hover pads. I can rotate. I'm not tilting and weaving so much. I can tilt myself and weave myself by rolling to the side. But then I can just use the mouse wheel still for throttle. And I'm going up. But there's also R and T take you up like 10, 15, 20% or something at a time. I forget exactly what it's set to. But then I can just float down here, slam on the brakes, even slam it into reverse. And then hit the brakes again. And we're cruising. So there you go. Stuff's getting pretty cool in Dual Universe for gaming mics. I'm enjoying this game a lot. I'm really into the grind of it. I'm really into the game loop of it. I think it's real fantastic. Just enjoying it tons. Hope y'all are too. I'm gonna wrap up the stream there for tonight while we take a moonlight flight. Look at, look at how much altitude I can gain at once, though. I can just point it straight up. I got the engines. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us tonight. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate everybody hitting that like button. Those that did on YouTube, on Facebook, feel free to follow the stream on Twitch if you're there. Trovo, DLive, any of those channels. If you're curious where I stream, check out GamingMike'sChannel.com. Looking forward to more Dual Universe this week. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, 11 p.m. Eastern. We will be back in Dual Universe on Wednesday. Uh, either Destiny or Marvel's Avengers on Friday for away missions. I enjoyed doing Avengers for the away missions. We're not quite done with the full season of Destiny. But I wouldn't mind doing more Marvel's Avengers if y'all were digging that. Feel free to let me know. Leave a comment on any of the videos. And, uh, I'll do it. I think I'll let this song play out while I fly around a little bit. Thanks for coming along tonight, y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>